Hello everyone, welcome to What If DXD vs React to Save from a Different Timeline Part 3. Before we start please go support Unison Skeeth 666 for writing that awesome fanfic. Now let's begin. Ep 11. Remembering past hunt before getting home. Flashback. Also when cast seeing scene where there will be nudes the person whose body that was exposed would be covered in cloud at their private parts in respect of the character privacy. Also disclaimer to every character and pictures I use for this fanfic except idea I use to create for this story and my avatar Ock. Forgot to mention Tan and then his son also here in my house but they shrink into human size. Also before I forgot to mention, I'll be using Monster from Monster Hunter Portable 3rd since that is the Monster Hunter game I ever managed to finish all quest even, though I started with Monster Hunter, Freedom Unite but lost the motivation after lost the save day to my poor fella and the little buddy, never once feigned at all in all my quest, coincidentally its name is Zack, just when managed to kill both a canter and Yukanlos, and on the way to unlock Fatalus I lost my data, and I'll be using Monster Hunter Rise mechanic where the map capable of holding 3 monster instead of 2, and the monsters will have all their known move, Skeeth. Ah I got a great show today taking off the 3D glasses, remembering when the people's beating up against each other, I love chaos sometimes, see his house in distance well, I gotta check how's the others open the doors and make way to living room, and noticed everyone else already here chatting up with each other, the same man I can't wait to see what that world gonna offer start talking in excitement with his harem happy seeing him not down anymore, and move on from his ex harem, but this say harem talking with each other, Isaka I'm glad that since we came here, Isa Kun not feeling depressed anymore, Kuroka. You're right Yusaka chan Naya, I'm happy for Issei chan he doesn't deserve to be discarded, just like that Naya felt angry about Issei ex harem ungratefulness. Roswis. Nodding in agreement you're right Kuroka san this is first time I see Issei kun happy like this. Ravel MHM, you're right, Issei sama deserve better he always fight for them but they just don't appreciate it. Asia but there's also those that getting interested with Issei san since we came here felt little upset thinking of more rivals. Isaka. Sighing as much I hate to admit it, you're right Asia Chan but I think we need to accept it with other harem sisters look at her in shock. Ross was H hub but why Yusaka san? Yusaka. I'm sure that Issei Kun won't forget all of us from my observation he always put those he cherished before himself and would treat us all equally and start blushing. Ravel. What's wrong Yusaka san? Isaka I doubt us five can keep with his stamina at all, and we need more sisters to keep him satisfied with Asia Ravel. Kuroka and Ross was blushing after understand what Yusaka mean. Kuroka. Start letting out nosebleed he, you're right I doubt us all could keep up with him Naya, Isaka. Anyways, let's observe more before we make any decision with the others nodding in agreement, back to Issei and others, Bali ha I hate to admit even I'm excited, Sarah erg if this world monsters can make my stronger self struggle I hate to admit we, probably has low survival rate if we suddenly go there, Issei yeah not to mention that we unable to use anything related to supernatural, making us sitting ducks with everyone else shivering thinking about it, Surzich. Yeah, Issei was right we need to train back from the scratch who knows if suddenly we fraud anything that completely immune to supernaturals and can only be defeated with pure physical strength. Azazel. Not to mention training back our own physical body without any supernatural enhancement. Looking at Michael sorry Michael for saying this but you need to hit the gym you look lanky like a noodle with Michael, get hits with lanky and noodle arrows. Michael. Felt depressed from the sudden jab yes you're right, I've been too reliant of magic and light powers. Gabriel. Patting Michael's shoulder it's okay brother we still love you. Michael T thank you Gabriel. Skeeth. Make his appearance. Well seems like everyone can't wait huh. Office. Together with Lilith go to Skeeth tugging his sleeve while still holding the popcorn bucket can we keep this? Looking at Skeeth hopefully. Skeeth. Patting her head with Lilith sure no problems I can make it more anytime I want, forgot to mention that you can change the popcorn flavor, just by thinking what flavor you want, make another another popcorn bucket, like the one office holding and giving it to Lilith, but office and Lilith get star eyes after hearing about it and rushing to other kids to share with them, Skeeth. Noticed everyone else looking at him amused what? Or? Nothing it just that you look like an uncle figure for them smile a bit, Mickey do you also has children of your own too? Skeeth. Gave small smile children huh no I'm not but I treat my students as one, besides do you need to be blood related to be family? Well in several of Skeeth domains, people that Skeeth saved and trained felt touched for unknown reasons. Surzich. You're right Skeeth san ruffling Issei hair making him blush, I also consider Issei here like my little brother, even if we're not related by blood. Rafi same with me gave small smile. Z-E-O-T-I-C-U-S and Benalana. Don't forget us. Skeeth. Anyways we've been talking long enough, it's to start the next viewing by the way before I forgot, gotta warn you guys of something, Shiva what it is Skeeth san, Skeeth, cough well there would be lots of shouting, screaming, cursing, and lots of profanities get thrown out not to mention some cough part in my language, bullshit moment happened during this viewing, but most cast sweat drops after hearing the warning, Auden. 
I'm curious what you mean by that but I think it's better to see it first with everyone else nodding in agreement. Skeeth well then let's start point the remote to the screen. Screen open. Scene change Yukumo Guild Hall Hot Spring Bath Area. But this A, Drag Volley and Albion just came out from the changing section and start to soak in the hot spring. Azizel. Let out a whistle dam that was a nice hot spring I can tell just by looking at it that it has magical properties. Is A. Turn to Azizel Wait are you sure sensei they just look like normal hot spring to me. Skeeth. Cough actually as is alright if you take a soak in it it will help temporarily increase your vitality and make you instantly full before you get hungry again it would last per hunting quest and would lost the effect if you got carded once in the quest. Surzich I don't know why but I got gut feeling that getting carded is embarrassing for every hunter over there and they mostly avoid it. Skeeth well for doing quest over there most common rule was you can only feign two times in a quest for every feint you lost one third of reward money and get lesser materials reward if feint for the third time you fail the entire quest. And actually getting carded is not that embarrassing but if get carded by some bullshit moment that would be embarrassing. Iku. Anyways look at four of them damn, they're packed with muscles I guess hunting monster every day would do that to you. Skeeth. Notice to say harem and those that interested with him letting out nosebleed and licking their lips thirsty much. Hiroka. Licking lip mama likey. Isaka. Fanned herself oh my. But this a harem and those interested with him start looking at him like predator eyeing their prey. Isa. Why I feel danger start looking around nervously. Isa. Stretching a bit man, that hit the spot. Ollie. You're right I'll never get bored taking a soak in this hot spring. Greg yep this is bliss cracking neck. Albion. Shane we can't have hot spring like this back home with everyone else nodding. Issa. Looking at changing area he you guys come on join us. The four cat figure jumping out from the the changing area straight to the hot spring. Issa Volley, Drag and Albion has only one palicos respectively, with Issa and Drag has feline, while Volley and Albion has melinx. Issa ahahaha man they surely having fun looking at their palicos having fun, but every female's melt looking at how cute the palicos is. Ali. Can't believe that it's been one year and a month since we came here, next month it's time to go home sighing wish we can stay here forever but we need to be back home. Albion. Drink sake not to forget the food here was truly authentic shame back home food can't hold a candle to the food here. Greg. Absolutely drink sake and clink the glass with Albion cheers. The same man I can remember back then we have to leave when we just finished last urgent quest to reach 6 star high rank quest. Greg. Remembering doing that quest with others yeah I can remember it clear as day, never thought such creature ever exist. Albion and when we came back here and start doing high rank 1, without refreshing our muscle memory that is our biggest regret. Ali. And that's when we do just simple gathering quest to restock most of our supplies, also seeing the scenery, and then meet that blasted pickle with him and others shivering remembering the encounter. They say buck why you remind me it was damn embarrassing and horrifying back then giving Volley a glare. Ali. Backing away and surrender whoa whoa calm down is say, I don't mean it. Albion still, glad we managed to escape from that pickle, and we managed to deliver the tickets on the last minute. Greg I never get chaz so much in my life give hollow eyes with others looking at him in sympathy. Azizel. I don't know what the thing they're talking about and why they calling it pickle but if it can make other drag like that I hope I'll never encounter it in my life with every x cast nodding in fright. Ollie. For some reason I felt bad feeling that the thing they're talking about was hazardous to everyone here that has dragon properties sweating a bit. Skeeth. Hi to smirk oh who you don't know but you're absolutely right volley with volley and everyone else that has dragon properties felt sudden chills. Flashback start. Scene change misty peaks. They say whoa. Gabriel. It's beautiful. Sir awful. It's true but to think that there's danger hidden in such a place. Sirs itch if we didn't know any better we would let down our guard just by seeing the scenery. But this A, Volley, Drag and Albion wearing Yukumo Blademaster set and Yukumo Weapon series, with this A using sword and shield Volley using dual blades, Drag using great sword and Albion using switch axe. The same man so this is atmosphere of high rank quest I could get used to it start stretching. Volley he, you're right, anyways let's disperse for now searching for the materials, I'm gonna search for ore and bone materials. Albion. Well I'm gonna search for herb shrooms, berries and whatever else I can find shrugs. Greg. Very well, I'm gonna check the perimeter and slay some monster and get some meat for us in meantime. They say well, I'm gonna visit Beggy Elder in meantime I'll try to fishing some fish, let's regroup at area 4 after 30 minutes. Transporter. Talking with cool voice you four wait. Zioticus. That's one cool cat. Lord Phoenix and one with style. They say. Turn to transporter confused yes transporter san. Transporter. Tipping hat careful you for high rank quest was an eye opener if you're careless the devourer will come to you with others confused what transporter mean. Ollie. Very well, we'll take the advice to heart gave him a bow. Transporter go on leaning on the barrel with cool pose. Greg hate to admit, that cat was baddest one like Sir Mioscular. Albion. 
ain't that the truth, but all four spread out searching over the entire map, scene change Misty Peaks Area 4, but all four of them was currently making some BBQ to eat while chatting with each other, they say. Alright guys the food ready, brought out several gourmet steak and gourmet fish, Bali oh ye, this what I'm waiting for snatch some and eat, Greg. Chomping the meat in seconds more, Gim more, Albion. I'm glad you you learned under Sir Mioscular and Grammyster Sanisei, they say. Let out a smile ya, glad that they temporarily come to Yukumo for to search for new helpers to aid them in their kitchen shame, they go back to New World already, Ali. With mouth full of food ya shame we're not good enough yet to go to New World I would love to see what it holds, Greg. Sadly, we're not skilled yet to according Sir Mioscular shaking head in disappointment, Albion. Agreed when we asked Sir Mioscular why back then he said that we're still green and haven't seen enough yet of the old world to go to the new world, Ali. Anyways you guys wonder what transporter San mean of the devourer. Greg beats me shrugging probably only monster that appears on high rank quest. Albion we got to be careful though, we'll never know if anything would suddenly appears. As is a okay now I'm curious what they mean of new world and what transporter San mean about the devourer. Sirzich. Same with me but since Ermi Oskular said that is a volley, Drag and Albion are still green it must be dangerous for them, but everyone turned to Skeeth, Skeeth. Shrugs nah, I'm too lazy to talk about New World, I'll tell when it comes making everyone else sweat drops hearing the reason, they say. Enough talking guys just eat, it's time to enjoy ourselves, tomorrow let's start doing some hunt, Drag he, you're right, but all four of them enjoying themselves eating and enjoying themselves and suddenly heard a roar, Asia eat jump into the say arms, Ollie. What was that? getting up and alert, Issei. I don't know but my instinct tell me it's bad news sweating, Issei. Getting up and alarm guys you hear that. Greg I do but where it come from start looking around, Bali I think, that sounds come from that area points to path heading to area 2, Albion. Anyways get ready guys, it's approaching, sounds of earth shaking with something getting closer and all four of them widen eyes in shock after seeing what it was, Issei oh my god, Bali what was that, Greg. It's hideous, like a pickle, Albion. Pickle or not just run for now, it's charging at us. All four of them start running away getting Chaz non-stop, flashback ends. Azazel oh come on, don't leave us on Cliffinger's shouting in exasperation. Sirzich. Oh man now I'm dying to know what was that make them act like that. Skeeth. Chuckles don't worry it will be shown next. Issei. I don't know what possessed us to do the quest without proper gear at all shaking head in exasperation. Bali I never thought we'll ever do such noob mistake, after that we just take the first month doing 4 and 5 star low rank quest to refresh our battle instinct. Albion ah, that's right, speaking of doing low rank quest both you and Bali once take the Belair and the Phoenix clan second son here, before right how far did they go? Greg. Brought out from the memory lane Yemi, and Albion didn't manage to join you guys, seeing that Albion helping me recover back Tiamat treasure, I'm also curious how far did they go, Azazel. Seems like other Drake and Albion already resolved their rivalry with Albion, willingly helping Drake find back Tiamat treasure, Tiamat. Snort seems like other you is more sensible one Drake glaring at both Drake and Issei, Drake. Talking nervously ahahaha, I'll promise to find back your treasure, right Issei, Issei. Talking nervously yep he, we'll find it we promise talking with Drag and mine dude why your fault is also my fault. Drag. Talking with Issei my burden is also yours, just help me with this will ya. Issei oh, about Riser and Sererg how well, they're quite dedicated, they manage to finish all the way from 1 star to 3 star quest, albeit with both of us helping from time to time, but because we're out of time they didn't manage to reach 4 star quest, Ali. And they officially hate that singing buck face, but everyone I twitching irritated after hearing that nickname, Albion. Rubbing forehead from the headache god I hate that bucking bird, not gonna lie, I hate that bird more than I hate Drake during our rivalry with Drake nodding in agreement, Drake. Start spewing profanities bucket I hate that bucking bird how the heck it always call the damn pickle every time we're hunting it. Sure we hunting it at high ranking quest but can't it call other things rather than the blasted pickle. Issei. Spewing some curse words screw that bird I can't forget it that last time we hunted subspecies it call not one but two bucking pickles, Ollie. Let's not forget that it call the damn pickle, not in normal mode but in bucking rage mode. I mean, what the buck. But all four of them start to remember the quest, Azazel. Sweat drops damn they must hate the bird they're talking about, Auden. And both Drake and Albion hate it so much that they don't care about their rivalry anymore. Right now this I gotta see, Albion. I'm curious what thing it is that it make my other selves say that he hated more than Drake. Flashback start, scene change volcano area 6, Azazel. Get star eyed damn look at those armor and weapons, Sirzich I can feel it, those armor easily more resistant than your crimson promotion armor Issei, Issei. Nodding hate to admit it but me and Drag also agreed those armor easily surpassed my crimson promotion armor, still my other self use sword and shield huh, Ollie. 
dumbfounded, but why my armor green, it wasn't my color scheme whatever, other me must have reason using that armor, despite its color, Greg. Whistle man my other self got nice armor, Albion. Agreed, can't ever think that myself ever use an axe though, Odin. Turn to Skeeth I'm curious what monster those armor based of. Skeeth sure brought out several pictures on the screen, Iku I don't think I want to fought those monster ever at all wiping sweat, Razor. Razor can't fathom how those four can hunt those monster at all. Skeeth the first one where armor and weapon that other essay use it was made of subspecies of Tigrex, called Brute Tigrex. Its official title was Black Roaring Wyvern for Vali a subspecies of Nargacuga, called Green Nargacuga the Green Swift Wyvern, for Drake was Rathalos King of the Skies and lastly Albion, Zinager the Thunder Wolf Wyvern. Saji man that was baddest idol those monster got. Shem has I those monster could easily terrorize our world if they ever came to our world, seeing that they can only be injured in their homeworld. Skeeth. Thinking hey if you're terrified seeing those I wonder how you guys gonna react with others, especially elder dragons or the ones from frontier the monster from frontier, has bullshit Mavisit get reminded of watching videos on YouTube about monster hunter frontier, but all four hiding behind a rock stealthily watching over the singing buckface, skeeth. Alright let me introduce you guys, Crimson Kurapeko, Crimson Colorful Bird Aka Singing Buckface, Azazel I can understand why they called it that, Bali it has very punchable face, they say. Alright guys it doesn't notice us yet, let's beat that thing after I throw the sonic bombs on it, Ollie. Show bloodthirsty face come on Issei, throw it I can't wait to kick that bucker ass, Issei. Throw the sonic bombs making it stagger in shock beat it, apply destroyer oils to his sword, and jump using perfect rush take the suit bucker, Ollie feel my wrath activate feral demon mode, slashing it non-stop Levi style, while it's in confusion, Greg take this you bastard use true charge slash at its head, destroying most of its beak, Albion. Here's a present for you Mothabaker switch to blade mode and unleash elements discharge right at it ass. But most of X cast jaw drops seeing the brutal scene. Shiva that was quite brutal I admit. <coughs> they really hate that bird huh sweat drops. Michael. I don't think both Drake Dono and Albion Dono ever display that amount of wrath during the Great War. After certain amount of time after the beatdown with it weakened and had enough then hit four of them with a tail swipe and jumped backwards, flapping at wings throwing them back further. Say ga oh no you don't throw paintball at it. Ollie. Noticed it gonna clap at hands oh shit, but it releasing bright flash after three claps blinding all four of them, Albion aired my eyes, Greg it burns, but all four ride after managed to recover their eyesight noticed that it just spit it mucus right on their face, xcast with that disgusting, Greg. It's official I hate that bird more than I hate you Albion, Albion. Same with me Drag no one ever dared to spit on my face in my entire existence, skeeth. Hide a smirk and thinking heh, wait till they see the Congolalas and its variants, a safe yuk, Bali that piece of shit just bucking spit on my face furiously trying to remove the mucus, Greg. Where's that piece of shit? Managed to remove the mucus earlier and widen eyes after noticed noticed it just finished mimicking a certain pickle roar, Albion O-S-H-I-T-T-T not the damn pickles, I say. Kill it kill it before it run away, Ali. Tried to rush at it, but got double thunder slap on the face my face see my face, but it spit another round of mucus right on their face and fly up leaving the area, they say. Damn me it not again punch the ground in frustration. Ollie buck that bird throw his headgear on the ground, Greg. Notice the ground shaking guys you heard that. Albion yes we heard it we need get away fast right now, they say. Start sweating wait a moment why we heard two set of roar. But the shaking getting stronger, Ollie. Eyes widen in fright oh no. Don't tell me that there's two of them. Albion oi you imbecile don't jinx us, Greg oi stop fighting we need to get away fast, I say. Drag right we need to escape now, but everyone start to leave heading path to area 7, but stopped after noticing said pickle in rage mode right at the path to area 7, and tried to use another path to area 5, but also noticed another pickle in rage mode at the path to area 5, not to mention both are gold crown size, Zioticus. Mommy jump into Venelana arms with her also frozen in shock after seeing the monster, Michael dear father eyes widen in fear, Gabriel faint in shock after seeing it, but those with weak heart and will either trembling in fear or fainted from the shock, Azazel. Sweating anyone else agreed with me that good thing those monster doesn't come to our world at all. With everyone else nodding in agreement, Surzich I got a certain feeling that if that monster suddenly appeared on Underworld, entire devil race would gone extinct with everyone else dreading imagining the image, Sona. Lu Lucifer Sama as surely you've been joking right? Shivering from fright, Skeeth. Actually Surzich hypothesis is right with everyone turned to him in shock, they say. Wh wa? R are you serious Skeeth san? Skeeth. Nodding ya, Pickle is the nickname hunters in that world called it to make fun of it, so that they would get calmer from the fear when fighting it, its real name is Deviljo, the terrifying violent wyvern or its other famous, title the great devourer or the world eater, Albion. Talking nervously are you sure that thing just a mere wyvern the presence it give off make most dragons in our world pale in comparison, Greg. 
Talking nervously I hate to admit it but if I'm right its strength and presence it displayed surpass both of us in our prime, with others widen eyes in shock from the news, I say. Trembling why you're kidding right Drag. Ollie. Sweating I don't think Drag kidding hi do, Auden. I don't want to ask this but what do you mean about its other two titles? Skeeth. I'll be brief to explain, Deviljo has high metabolism that put them in constant hunger, no matter how much it eats when it came to any ecosystem it would eat anything it could find on the ecosystem, as the apex predator there, mostly every life on the ecosystem would perish from extinction, from its constant hunger not to mention it's highly aggressive and would attack anything on sight, and it was one of monster that could fight on par with most elder dragons, Isaka elder dragons, Skeeth creatures that was classified as unknown by the hunter guild because they didn't have detailed information of them or even know where they even come from how they're breeding, and not to mention even the weather would bow to their presence when an elder dragons are in an area, shrugs you could say that some elder dragons are capable to end the world single-handedly, but everyone else widen eyes in shock and fright after hearing about the elder dragons, shem his eye. Capable of. Ajuka. Ending. Odd in the world. Uriel. Like Trahiksa. Serafal. But more than one. Serzich. I'll say it again, we're glad those monster doesn't come to our world getting serious, everyone should keep this secret we just learned to our grave, don't let anyone else know about it when we get back with everyone else nodding in agreement, Skeeth Vali you once said that you feel that Avilja was dangerous to people with dragon properties right? Vali yes what is it Skeeth San? Getting a bad feeling, Skeeth. Deviljo are capable of harnessing dragon element, that hazardous to elder dragon and monster alike you, could say that dragon element was like Samuel blood but more potent, making a say volley, office, and those with dragon properties, widen eyes and fright anyways, let's continue viewing thinking pretty sure the readers would be little bored hearing me rambling, and I think I'm scared them enough already, pretty sure they would get traumatized if I tell them about savage Deviljo let alone, it's apex frenzy version, and aberrant version or worse starving and for heavenly king, back to viewing, the Viljo theme starts playing after both of it noticed four tasty snacks, hiding behind the rock but failing, Azizel. I'm both amazed and terrified it has scary and awesome theme, Arachiel same with you, I say shit not one but two dot dot, Greg. We're bucked. Albion. Turn to Vali giving him blank stare I blame you for this. Vali. Sighing I know it's my fault that jinxed us but we need to fight for our lives now, seeing that we can't escape unsheath his dual blades. I say Vali is right start unsheath his sword all that matters now is to kill it we never fought two of them at the same time, it's do or die. Greg yeah unsheath his greatsword we still need to pay back against the damn bird for putting us in this situation. Albion. Unsheath his switch axe you're right if we survive this I got an idea how to pay back against the damn bird I, pretty sure it just smirk at us before it leaves with everyone else getting pissed off after hearing what Albion just said, I say me and Vali will take one, well you both take the other one, Greg ha on it, with all four of them rushing to their respective Deviljos, I say hi Aya, Vali or Yaya, Greg uuuh, Albion or Aya, I say. Come on other me show that thing what you got, Vali. Same with you other me, Greg. Don't you dare lose you got that other me, Albion. Show them our heavenly dragon emperor pride. The say volley drag Albion yeah, but others amused seeing the four dragons antics. Asia. I'm glad to say San got his spirit back. Ravel. Same with us with other harem sisters nodding in agreement. Lavinia Virginia Khan finally grown up, I'm happy for him. After certain amount of time, scene change volcano area 10. Scene showing the crimson Kirapeko sleeping without care and the world trying to recover. But most cast eye twitching after seeing the bird. They say I can't believe that it just sleep without care after all that eye twitching. Ali. Mutters bucking douchbag. Greg I swear if our other selves didn't kill it, I'm gonna rage. Albion. Agreed. But this a volley drag and Albion showing up with tattered armor and weapons half broken and circling across sleeping crimson Kirapeko body, giving it expression of rage across their face. Asia. Thank god they're okay. Serzich man they must be pissed off. As is all what to expect, anyone would be pissed off if someone suddenly sent too strong monster of that level at them. With all four of them giving calm smile after remembering Albion payback scheme then everyone put one mega barrel bomb surrounding the unsuspecting Motherbaker. Ajuka. Dumbfounded where did. They pull out the large barrel from. Skeeth. Shrugs that world physics was weird sometimes, just roll with it. Tobio. Sweat drops okay then. Giving each other cheerful smile and brought out another mega barrel bomb carrying over their head and start giving an evil smile to their sleeping victim. But Xcast jump in their seat after seeing the smile. As is old damn that nearly give me heart attack. Odin. Rubbing his chest I think I just see my late father for a moment. All four of them rush to the sleeping foe laughing like a maniac while carrying the bomb with mad smile on their face, triggering an explosion. The say volley drag Albion ha 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 flashback ends. Most cast jaw drops seeing what just happened. Surzich are all four of them crazy. Shiva. Can't blame them they must be scarred from the encounter against Deviljo. Azizel hey is say volley you both okay there? 
turned to Issei and Bali and noticed that both of them are silent. Ow cow hey you too, what's wrong? Issei. No nothing, just that I'm shocked seeing what they do just now. Bali I can't believe I got roped into doing that stunt. Greg ah, I'm satisfied, such glorious ending. Albie and I must say that I'm impressed with my other self for came up with the idea. Back to present, but all four of them give content smile remembering kamikaze attack. They say that felt good, good payback against that buck face. Bali sure we got bedridden for a week but it was worth it. Greg sure it is chugging a bottle of Seika that hit the spot, it's a miracle though that we managed to survive and kill those two pickles. Albie and, and we managed to make new armor and weapons from the encounter right. Say. That's right. Earl voice A guys. Earl voice B we got sudden emergency quest. Say Kanaha sense a say you send what's wrong. Goes to the map the barrier with others following. To say you hear you guys will know what we mean hand the quest paper to Vali. Ali. Checking the contents and I widen a bit then give the quest paper to others to see I see. Never thought it gonna be back. They say back then we can only manage to repel it reminiscing the past. Greg we nearly failed the quest though. Albion yeah I think it's time to put it down for good. Anyone up for it? They say that was a stupid question of course we're up to it. Greg. Cracking neck hair, I'm getting pumped up. Ollie. This would be good last hunt for us before getting back home. They say. Alright, we'll accept the quest. Let's go guys go to changing room changing back to their equipment. Saseu. Very well, I'll tell the chief, let's go Kanaha. Kanaha I I sis. But all four of them came out from the changing room wearing their current equipment. Serzich. Whistle damn, that was one baddest looking armor. As is all they even got an armor for their palico as well I'm a bit jealous of the blacksmith in their world. Shiva well you could say that their suffering was also a blessing. Office. Hide behind a say together with Lilith full of dragonic energy. Dangerous. They still using their respective weapon and their palicos wearing Deviljo armor. They say all right guys let's do this bump fist with others. Ali. Let's show it how much stronger we become. Greg. Time to settle this. Albion. Let's see who's gonna stand as the conqueror. The save Ali Drag, Albion. Thinking bring it on then Jen Morin. Screen close. Skeeth. So any thoughts you guys want to comment? Who knew? Raise Mr. Skeeth can I ask something? Skeeth who is Jen Morin? Skeeth well I won't tell much, because next viewing will show it chuckle seeing Kunu pouting well. I'll tell you guys a little bit it was a monster that they four only managed to repel at once. Lady Phoenix. Must be a very strong monster that they can only manage to repel it, rather than slay it. Skeeth ho ho you guys would be surprised in the next viewing, just wait for it. Sirs itch if you say so we can only wait for now. Azizel my gut feeling tell me that it would an interesting battle. Skeeth well if has no question I gotta go now, open the door and leaves. The same man I can't wait for the next viewing, anyways I think I need to work harder to catch up other me. Ali. You're not the only one hi do, wanna spar? I say of course, let's go. Ep 12. Rematch against the past adversary and going back home. Flashback. Also when Xcast seeing scene where there will be nudes the person whose body that was exposed would be covered in cloud at their private parts in respect of the character privacy. Also disclaimer to every character and pictures I use for this fanfic except idea I use to create for this story and my avatar Ock. Skeeth. Walking back home semi-exhausted freaking hell I regret didn't play Genshin 2.8 event when it just came out. I'm gonna go back and slap my past self for his bright idea. Trying to do all events and world quest in one day not to mention getting all 182 chest. Pretty sure some of my brain cells died trying to solve the puzzles muttering incomprehensibly. Scene change unknown location. Eating popcorn with Corbinic watching Skeeth muttering non-stop himself hey, idiot trying to do it in one day. Corbinic hey, speaking of did we forget someone else to send at Skeeth house. Snap fingers that's right we forgot about Great Red, let's go headbutt the air making a portal and jump through it. Corbinic. Sweat drops why he can't use normal way making portal dot dot does he need to do that instead. Shaking head in exasperation and jump following. Scene change dimension gap from the universe cast in Skeeth house came from just moments they got kidnapped. Great Red. Making some stunts while flying him why I suddenly got a bad feeling. If a smirk watching his new victim and proceed to make big trash bags suddenly cover entire Great Red body. Great. What the? Hey what gives? Struggling to get out. Check out my hip check make small hip check letting out big shock wave knocking out great red hey Corbinic how about another yeet? Corbinic. Give blank stare at did you just use that legendary move? Pretty sure countless multiverses got destroyed from the shock wave alone. Nah no problem I already make sure that the multiverses that got destroyed was those beyond redemption, especially those kind, if you know what I mean. Corbinic. Give not of understanding after realizing what me nah I see well anyway time to send the package, make a portal and pick up the package, then throw it to Skeeth direction he had. Scene change area near Skeeth. Skeeth. Notice something approaching at fast speed and catch the package oh no, you don't I won't fall for the same trick twice pick the note and read it, I see, first I'm gonna shrink this guy put unconscious great red under spell, making him chibi sized and get inside his house. Back to in Corbinic. Corbinic. 
Shrugs well seems like he already predict that. Heh, seems like we failed the surprise, anyways let's go check other universe to watch open portal and jump inside. Orbanik. Well I got nothing to do anyway jump inside the portal following. Scene change Keith house living room. Skeet hey office catch throw unconscious great red to office. Great red. Slowly come to his sense and noticed office giving him evil smile, well realizing he can't use any power at all oh shit. After several moment of torture. Great red. In full body cast from the torture, so you're saying that all of us got kidnapped here. After the young hatchling point to say making him blush from embarrassment, wish to see a version of himself that wasn't perverted after his so-called former harem, deem him too perverted. Skeeth yup at the gist of it, is say. Still I'm sorry for putting you guys on this situation bow to others. Ah uh, no no worries, besides watching other universe was an exciting experience. Surzich. Ruffling is say hair it's okay is say, besides us leaders was grateful for it thinking watching other universes vacation, without worrying about doing any paperwork and chance to spend more time with family. Only fool won't take it, with every leader here give nod of understanding knowing what Surzich mean, Skeeth. Thought to the audience reading sorry for Ria's Akeno Kaneko Arena and Zenovia fan but it's necessary. Great read it might be unusual coming from me, since I rarely care about other people problems but seeing the hatchling share my flesh, making him my pseudo son with a say feel touched from great red words. This is personal look at a say former harem with disappointed stare you five are bunch of hypocrites. Ria's. Feeling offended w wa. Akeno I don't understand what you mean great red sama. Kaneko. Frown from the jab we're not hypocrites. Arena. Please tell us dot dot why you called us that. Zenobia yeah why you call us hypocrites. Skeeth. Give popcorn to Azazel and others want some. Azazel sure, I feel that a good show would happen, take some and eat. Great Red. Give them bra are you serious look you five deem the hatchling a pervert, well you four are more perverted than him. Zenobia. We're. Great Red I haven't finished talking yet making Zenobia shut up. Ollie. Whistle damn. Great Red. I'll be brief, first you point to Rhea as you're an exhibitionist that would sneak into young hatchling bed, while he's sleeping every time like some cheap prostitute, and would show off your naked body to him every time, not to mention he's an hormonal teenager of course he would act like a pervert, since you deliberately show all that to him, Rhea's. Speechless from the truth, Razor. Turn to say wait Rhea's did all that. Is say yeah rubbing back of his head from the memory. Razor that was shocking news sure Razor was playboy and skirt jazzer before but Razor wasn't an exhibitionist like Rhea's at all. Razor still got sense of shame. Well Rhea's feels insulted hearing that from Razor of all people. Great Red. Turn to Akeno then you, who always teased the hatchling with suggesting remarks and also seduce him all the time while touching Hex will spot over his body, then leave him hanging after you got your fill of teasing the hatchling then, also getting into his bed every time naked with Akeno considering great red words, well hate to admit that it was true. Shem his IU okay there look at Barakiel. Barakiel hate to say it but my daughter need to hear it. Great red. Turn to Kaneko and you do you have to punch him in the gut every time he's thinking something perverted I mean come on the hatchling wasn't raping any woman across the street at all, sure he's a pervert but he's a pervert that's still got sense of honor, then you also always sit on his lap all the time of course he would pop a boner from the contact, there's a verb saying those who think others are thinking something perverted are the pervert themselves because they thinking the perverted thing first, Kaneko. Gone silent from the brutal truth, Boru. Turn to say and open his shirt looking for sign of abuse and concern I see is it true that she always hit you before in the gut every time why you don't tell us. say, Nod nervously yeah oh to san. It's true, I don't want to tell you both because I don't want to worry you both. Mickey. Hug say together with her husband and turn to Kaneko furiously from now on, you're not welcome in our house anymore, I won't accept those that hit our son just because they feel like it, with Kaneko frozen in shock after hearing that. Kuroka. Thinking it's your loss sheer and Naya. Great Red and you looking at Arena and sighing I don't know what to say it just pure disappointment for an angel, you're the one that more perverted than Hatchling that was supposed to be a devil. Considering that you're saying that you want to having Hex with him to bear his baby like a bitch in heat with Arena got hit with several bitch in heat arrow. Azazel. Ouch that was sick burn dot dot never thought Great Red had it in him. Great. Turn to Zenovia giving her pointed stare lastly you dot dot are you sure you're not the perverted one instead. Considering that you always bring condom every time and searching the hatchling when he's alone just to have hex with the hatchling, just because you want bear a strong children, just because he's the red dragon emperor it make you like a hoe or a bitch with Zenobia got hit with countless hoe and bitch arrows. Ollie. Whistle damn that was savage. Ski thought true thought slayer. Griselda. Rubbing forehead from the headache I don't know where I go wrong raising her.
Great red if all of you are curious, it's because my domain of dream and illusion the young hatchling always daydream from the teasing and hex will innuendo. And don't you guys know that he always got blue balled every time from the teasing not to mention mention got no chance to relieve himself with all the mess that happens every time with Issei turn red from embarrassment from great red reveal. By the way, looking at Issei current harem, hope you five can at least help him relieve and release himself next time, if ever tease him, don't leave him hanging. It's not healthy during relationship making Issei and his harem blush, ski. Anyways let me give you this so you can know the past view without wasting time telepathically send information about the past viewing into Great Red Head. Great Red. Shaking head recovering from the sudden influx of information well dot dot that was interesting to think that other hatchling reached that level and many changes, just because he wasn't perverted, I'm curious who's their teacher is, and never thought that there's a world that I would be helpless, if I would suddenly go there now I'm curious who's the Gen Morin is, let's start the viewing I can't wait to see it give sideway glance to say thinking, don't worry hatchling your daddy would be the best wingman for you, skeeth. Shrugs and point the remote on the screen. Screen open. Scene change great desert. Azazel Holy did that ship just sail across the desert. Odin. Those people in that world was ingenious to be able to make ship capable traveling across the sand like that without magic is truly fascinating. Who knew why there's a gong on the ship tilt head? Skeeth. Snap fingers that's right, nearly forgot you guys will need this give earplugs to everyone don't ask, you'll know what I mean. They say alright then never thought we're gonna came back here again. Bali Hemi to you guys ready for this? Greg. That's a stupid question of course we're ready. Ground starts shaking. Albion. It's approaching get ready guys. Skeeth well let me introduce you guys the elder dragon Gen Morin the peak mountain dragon. Ajuka. Fascinating so this is an elder dragon. So onto that one is really big dragon I can see that why they said that they nearly failed the quest before. Surzich I pick dealing with your Berwicky then deal with that. Azazel. Considering that we can't use magic to fight it at all I agreed with your sentiment Surzich. Great red hum dot dot that dragon more bigger than me nice tusks me approve. They say. Using binoculars looking at the two broken spine cracks that the four of them destroyed during the last encounter. Confirm that this the one we fought last time seems like it has grown older. Can't believe it that when we fought it last time it was still a child. Greg yeah, from the information we got this one just reached adulthood the elder dragons in this world was truly a mystery. Albion even I'm shocked when we found out that it just still a child back then, its growth spurt was fast. Ali I dread how big the older one looked like everyone got chills thinking about it. Sir awful. Slowly point to the screen shaking while wait. Did they just say that the one they fought back then was just a child now it just reached adulthood? Skeeth yup that one just reached adulthood. With everyone else shivering thinking of what older one looks like, they say. Start operating one ballista and start firing I take this one first. Bali oh man you got the near one, whatever operating the another and start shooting at the tusks. Well Drag and Albion take turns shooting using cannon. Bali ear gahahaha shooting like madman without realizing that stones that Gen Morin just thrown out heading his way. They say oh 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 I I Bali watch out abandon the ballista and point at the sky where the stones heading to Bali. Bali ha. Huh? Notice the stones oh shy get slammed by the stones, but Xcas laughing watching other volley fate, while volley covering his face in embarrassment. They say gahahahaha man I never thought I'm gonna see that slamming his knees from laughing too hard. Azazel holy crap this is gold rolling on the ground laughing hard. Albion. Fasipamug that idiot, whatever, take over the ballista volley just use and start firing at the horn, but volley slowly getting up dizzy. Volley erg I forgot it can do that, gotta resupply first go to ballista arrow supply area, with Issei getting another batch. Greg. All right, it's my turn both him and Albion using ballista shooting at tusks, they say. Goes to cannon supply take one cannon bomb preparing to shoot, but got bitten by stray Delex, making him drop bomb oh fuck, boom, but cast cast start laughing again with Bali being the loudest, Ali. Point to say laughing ha 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 take that hi do ha 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 ha, Shiva. Funny moment aside that ship was really sturdy, Azizel. It's true, the blacksmith in that world was top tier, capable of making ship that can endure those hit, they say. Slowly getting up covered in soot and start slash the Delex that bit him into pieces buck you, Ollie. Notice that Jen Morin swimming closer to the ship guys, it's getting closer, you guys don't forgot to bring it right. Surzich. Tilt headed. Skeeth. Hide a laugh knowing what other volley mean. Greg of course, only fool forgot it, they say. Hate to admit but Drake right. Albion less talk, here's our chance. All four rushing and jump at the ledge and goes to ore stones that jutting out of Jen Morin back, they say. Pickaxe time hold out mega pickaxe and start hitting the stones mining it with others following suit. But cast jaw drops dumbfounded seeing what those four just do. Indra did they seriously mining on that dragon back? Sauji. That's one of the most unusual thing I ever seen in my life. Greg. Mine an ore and admiring it ooh oh shinny my precious. Albion real shinny. 
but both Drake and Albion goes into mining frenzy, finishing all the ores and other mining spots on Genmor and back, the Sheyy, Olio Ooii, leaves some for us too. But Drake Albion and also other dragons in the room was in trance after looking at the ores Drake and Albion counterparts just mined. Drake. I'm so jealous of my counterpart, Albion. Looking at his counterpart in envy me too drag me too. Both Issei and Bali looking at Drag and Albion in disappointment, Issei. Seriously those two, can't blame them, those ores uniqueness can trigger dragon treasure hoarding instinct. Bali yeah you're right sweat drops after looking at both Drag and Albion jumping up and down like an idiot's after got another precious ore. But cast chuckling seeing other Drag and Albion acting like a kid. Issei oh 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 I you too if you both done, let's go to the tusks now. Bali we don't got enough time before it gonna shake you us off. Drag oh shit my bad my bad goes to another tusks with Albion following with Issei and Bali on another tusks. Bali. Alright guys, let's do this all four setting up anti-dragon bomb on tusks. Issei 1 2 3 jump all four jump from the tusks to the sand below, with the bombs explodes cracking the tusks, making Jen Morin screaming in pain. Asia. Issei San. Sirs it's Issei. Lavinia vi. Kun. But others worried seeing all four jump into the endless sand. Skeeth. Don't worry they will be fine. But everyone else let breath of relief seeing all four using the ropes on the back of the ship, slowly getting inside. Azazel Wu dot dot that worried me that was reckless stunt they just did. Ajuka. In thinking pose still, anyone noticed something unusual about the bombs? Ova I can feel it that those bombs was dangerous for us dragons. Tannen. You're right son if I'm right one or two of those bombs can easily kill dragon king level dragon. Saji wait what? The Amad I hate to admit I would die if not gravely injured if get hit with just two of those bombs. Albion if my calculation is right just eight of those bombs could easily kill both me and Drag when we're still alive. Drag. Hate to admit, but Albion right. But other cast in shock hearing Tiamat words together with Drag and Albion claim. Auden. Sweating a bit and it still can move even with got hit eight of those bombs so. This is an elder dragon. Shiva. Their body really build different, I'm curious what other elder dragons looks like, but all four inside the shop camp taking off their helmet putting out the sands that got inside. Ali Erg. I really hate when sand got into our armor. Albion who want, let's go no time to waste. All four getting outside and noticed the Gen Morin wasn't in sight. Greg. Looking around wait where did it go? Brown shaking. Issei. Looking at Jen Morin leaping over the ship well I guess you got your answer covered Drag if my guess is right it gonna ram the ship from the side so. Who gonna hit the gong? Bali you let me let me go near the trigger used to activate the hunting gong holding the hammer to activate it on signal. But Drag and Albion using the ballista shooting at it after it emerge heading towards the ship, with Issei using the cannon hitting in middle of its head. Bali. Right now. Albion. Not yet still firing from the ballista. Bali. Noticed that Jen Morin was 100 meter closer was it now. Drag. Wait for it firing another salvo of ballista ammo together with Albion, exhausting both their ammo supply. Bali. Notice that Jen Morin was 50 meter closer is it now? Isaka. Pray worried hoping they would be successful. Skeeth. Get reminded of something oh that's right, it's better if you guys use the earplugs I just gave you all. But cast trusting Skeeth words decided to wear it. Issei. Finished using all the cannon ammo and noticed it was just 10 meter to closer to the ship 9876NOWWWW. Bali Oria hit the trigger activating the hunting gong with it let out loud sound, stunning the Gen Morin. Hiroka Nyan 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 rolling on the ground from the pain after hearing the loud sound. Isaka. Gritting teeth in pain while desperately trying to cover Kunu ears. Issei. Yusaka, Kuroka rushed to both of them putting both of their head to his chest while rubbing their head to ease their pain, making them blush despite the pain. Azizel. Covering his ear while stealthily give Issei thumbs up despite the headache smooth move dot dot boy. Issei now guys all four of them jump and throw all their mega barrel bomb at its face, making a tusks crack further. But Jan Morin getting angrier from the punishment and start swipe, its tusks from the side to four of them, while they're still in the air throwing them outside the ship. Issei Gark, Ali Arg, Greg Ugger, Albion Gwarg, but four of them trying to get back to the ship using the ropes despite the pain. Issei. Rubbing his side where his other self got hit ug that looks painful. Bali ug I nearly lost consciousness, let's go guys. But all of them get outside and noticed it gonna use it whole body slamming down the ship. Sirzich. Come on do something. Drago no you don't, Albion. Albion on it both of them goes to the ballista and shoot the binder restricting it. Issei oyeahhddraig put his shield upward making a footing. Bali. Nice Albion cross as dual blades making a footing. Edraig and Albion Oyeahh both jump from their respective footing with Drag using true charge slash cutting off right tusk, while Albion using zero sum discharge at left tusk, destroying it after the explosion. Issei Damnn that was awesome we're the best team ever Ddraig. Drag hahaha you're right Issei. Ali. 
grinning in excitement that was baddest move there Albion. Albion my fighting spirit rising looking at them. Both Drag and Albion slide back after the landing with Issei and Bali catch them. Issei whoa careful there. Bali never thought you both gonna destroy both of the tusks. Drag he that took the lot of me looking at his shaking hands. Albion. Slowly getting up with Bali help he that felt awesome though breaking a tusks. But four of them noticed it gonna submerge. Bali. Could it be dot dot hope I'm right, let's go guys, let's do this together with other following volley to front deck waiting at Dragonator trigger, with each of them holding hammer to activate the Dragonator. They say alright guys it gonna ram the ship head on, we gotta time it right. But Jan Morin emerge 100 meter from the ship approaching at the fast speed. Azazel I really don't want that thing suddenly appear and charging at me like that shivering with others nodding in agreement. They say volley drag Albion. Noticed it was just 50 meter from the ship no www. All four hit the trigger activating the Dragonator where it pierced Jen Morin right through it lower mouth making a see-through hole. The say ohh, yahh, Bali this is fire, break that, feels awesome, Albion. This is lifey. But Jan Morin submerge and appears from the far side of the ship. Great red oof that looks painful as buck I don't want to get hit with that especially in the ass. Skeeth. Holding out a laugh remembering watching Monster Hunter World video when Anjanath got pierced with Dragonator right in the ass killing it. Michael. Something wrong Skeeth don't know. Skeeth. Wave off Michael concern nothing at all no worries. Issei. Notice that they're approaching the last bastion alright guys, let's do this. Ollie alright, I'm all fired up. Break my blood boiling from the excitement alone. Albion. Grinning in excitement hahaha, ha, ha, I'm agreed with Drag, let's beat it. All four do four way fist bump. Scene change great desert last bastion. Scene showing off Jan Morin in distance getting closer to the ship, while all four rushing to it drawing their weapons. Odd and ha a final battle it seems. Or this is getting good go little brother. Fighter. Yahh waving off flag with go volley go written on it. Elder go volley show that dragon your might. But volley covering his face in embarrassment from his adoptive family antics. They say all right I and drag will go to other front leg to make it lose footing. Volley okay then me and Albion gonna got for the other legs. But they say and drag. Drag is say spinning running. They say. Understand drag intention and jump in front of drag on it. Drag here goes use the spinning as momentum and use his greatsword launching a say to its leg. They say. Her Yaya use his shield hitting it making it stagger and use the impact from the shield bash and jump to to the sky, making downward slash to its leg making more crack appear. Drag my turn jump to the sky and do true charge slash to its leg breaking most of its skin showing its flesh. But both of them start slashing at the exposed flesh in meantime. Azazel. Whistle damn that was cool combo, can't wait to see Volley and Albion part. But Volley and Albion. Albion now Volley both him and Volley jump to the sky. Volley saw you grab Albion and throw him to its leg. Albion. Here's another one flies towards the leg and use zero sum discharge and making it stagger from the explosion, showing lots of cracks. Ali. Now or never activating feral demon mode and do downward spinning slash ending with demonic dance, destroying leg skin. Iku. Grab Arthur shaking him did you see that? That was awesome. Arthur. Turn blue from the shaking eye to please dot dot let go. All four noticed that Jan Morin getting closer to the ship trying to use Tusk Swipe to destroy the ship and retreat back to the ship, activating the hunting gong, making it roar in pain from the sound, but Tusk's cast let out breath of relief after managed to close their ear in advance. Greg. Here's another present shoot the binder together with Albion at it restricting it movement. Issei. Burst through. Ali. Here goes. Greg. Let's rev it up. Albion charge. All four goes to face and chest area dishing punishment after punishment, with it had enough throwing them back at the ship from body tackle and letting out a roar. S-A-N-G-G-G-H-H-H-K-K-K-K noticed it gonna use it full body to slam down the ship S-H-I-T-T-T Dragonator, bring the Dragonator start running off to the Dragonator trigger with everyone else and activate it piercing through its stomach. Proof of a hero start playing. All the man start letting out tear from the sheer off from the music. S-A. The music, it's resonating with me. I feel like. I can do anything. Ali. Still letting out manly tears yeah I can't put it in words dot dot what I could say that the music was truly inspiring. How cow I swear to be a better hero from now on. Razor this is the manliest song Razor ever heard. Seraphil goo is a chan. Sarah er dude hi do. Serzich. It's all or nothing now. Get serious. As is all right you four. Go for it. I say do it other me. It's now or never. Ali. Show that thing what you got other me. Greg. Don't lose now other me. Albion. Show that thing our power. They say I can feel it. Ollie. This is the decisive moment. Greg. For all of us. Albion. Time to finish this. All four yaya. Yeah, yeah. All four goes to the down Jen Morin delivering blow after blows and deliver the finishing blow killing it. Ollie o oh, y a h h. They say we did a do high five with everyone else. Greg is this the feeling that dragon slayer and our world feel when they manage to kill a dragon back then. Albion. Probably it is still, there's one thing left to do open eyes shining looking at the Jan Morin corpse with everyone do the same. All four. 
carving Timmy, rushing to the corpse like man possessed. Odd and holy crap followed the seat trying to calm down his beating heart damn it my heart nearly stopped from the shock. But others also getting up from the sudden jump scare. Azazel it doesn't help that all four of them wearing that armor with the eyes glowing like that, honestly it's scary. Sirs it's yet at given illusion that four devilja rushing trying to eating you trying to calm his beating heart. Zioticus oh shit now I can't stop imagine it shivering just by thinking about it. Seen change outside of Yukumo gates. But all four of them wearing their casual clothes trying to comfort their sad palicos. But the females feels heartache looking at sad palicos. They say. Come on hi say cheer up I also want to bring you to our world but I don't want you to get into danger hugging his palicos trying to reassure him. I say meow I understand meister. I'll be stronger palicos when you came back meow trying to show strong front. I say. Ruffling hi say head alright buddy, please take care with others. I say I meister give a salute. Ali so. It's time how well I hope you become stronger vaffer when I came back. Vaffer. Give Vali a nod you bet me Mr. me need to look after Hayasei, despite his crybaby tendency when with his say, he's the strongest fighter out of all us till we meet again, me Mr. do fist bump with Vali, Greg. Grinning alright Greg you need to take care of yourself make me proud, Greg of course me Mr. placing his paw on his heart no worries me, and others decided to hunt Sinager next, Sir Erg. Whistle damn, those cat really a brave bunch huh? Greg ha 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 is expected of you show face of concern, but please take care of yourself, don't overdo it. Greg you bet meister. Albion well I have written some stories for you to read Albert give several stacks of books to his palicos. Albert. Smell the books you're the best meister me glad meeting you do high five with Albion. Albion. Chuckles seeing his palicos antics. They say. Thank you for willing to look after our palicos either San. He is wearing a canter armor without the helmet, looks older with scar over his left eye, rendering his left eye blind, and also doesn't have his long braid and has somber expression. The either. Gave small smile it's okay you four, students of my friend was also my students reminiscing the past when tutoring essay, drag Vali and Albion during their newbie days, anyways I hope you four will find him and send him my regards if find him, essay. Gave either a nod we will either San. Ikumo chief. Seems like you four going back home give all four of the motherly hug please take care of yourself. Bali we will chief you also take care of yourself. Anaha all we wish we can go to your world shame only you four can go between our worlds pouting. Saseu. Gave light chop on Kanaha head behave yourself no need to make them feel guilty. Turn to four of them giving them a bow I'm sorry for my sister inconvenience. Greg. Sweat drops haha it's okay no harm done. Albion we need to go back now so I really wish that we can stay here longer. They say we will become stronger when we came back and discover what monster you hunt to make that armor either San. Either. Very well, I'll wait when the day comes gave small smirk. Bali even I'm curious what monster you hunt to make that armor either San. Greg yep I can feel pure might radiating from it. Albion. Such a shame that we're not eligible enough to know about it yet. They say. That's why we gonna try to get back here earlier right guys. Bali. You're right, anyways let do it essay. Essay on it both essay and Vali brought out blank talisman and tear it making the same portal that bring them here appear. Greg well, time to go, see you all again take care wave to everyone and get inside the portal. I'll be until we meet again wave to others and get inside the portal. Vali take care then everyone see y'all soon wave and get inside the portal. Essay. We'll promise to came back earlier see ya waving off to others and jump inside the portal. Be either. After done waving and stare at the sky reminiscing the past seems your students grown up already huh friend. Screen close. Skeeth. Before you guys ask what monster used to make the armor that the other guy use I won't tell because of two things one, spoilers, second, I'm lazy to tell. But cast sweat drops hearing the reason. They say so who's the guy that take care of our other selves palicos? Skeeth. You could say that their teacher befriend him during his stay on that world before meeting you four, and the guy used to travel between worlds but because of unfortunate circumstances on the last world he came to he decided to not travel between worlds anymore and decided to stay in that world for the rest of his life, noticed most people getting sleepy well, seeing that mostly everyone feel tired already I gotta go now see ya, great red. Looking at Skeeth retreating figure and turn to others is he always like that office yeah but he's a good person munching the popcorn non-stop from popcorn bucket gifted by skeeth with great red sweat drops looking at office at 13 back home and readjusting to normality and two guest flashback also when cast seeing scene where there will be nudes the person whose body that was exposed would be covered in cloud at their private parts in respect of the character privacy also disclaimer to every character and pictures i use for this fanfic except idea i use to create for this story and my avatar arc skeeth Hopping while doing one handstand heading home, him never thought that I managed to reach to this point writing this fic, looking at readers just a question for the readers was my way of writing readable or not. Considering that coughing while blushing a bit I always fail my essay test during my entire school year, seeing his home door and getting up, then walked inside well, let's see how others doing. Scene change Jim inside the house. Skeeth. 
found where's the others was and noticed that the not-so-innocent women hungrily looking at their loved one are those that they're interested while they're working out, the say harem and those that interested with him. Letting out nosebleed watching sweat glistening across his abs while he's currently doing crunch exercise, but this say ex-harem in denial while trying not to looking at his say chiseled body, Rafia. Gulping down saliva with her eyes darting back and forth watching her husband ass while he's doing barbell power squats, Lavinia. Unconsciously licking her lips looking at Bali while he's doing one handstand push-ups, Pusha. Drooling watching Sarayar doing one hand pull-ups, Benalana. In trance looking at her husband ass when he's doing glute bridge workout, Razor Peerage. Blushing red watching Razor doing barbell bench press and imagining they are the barbell instead, Skeeth. Sweat drops well, better do something for the guys before they gonna get gaped I can feel the horny energy in the air and not gonna clean the liquid that came after that wear no horny gloves and give big claps releasing energy, making the hornies not feeling horny anymore, as is a low skeeth sand when you came back, skeeth. Just now noticed that Michael was covered in sweat from the exercise working hard huh Michael? Michael. Wiping his sweat with a towel and drink some water yeah. Honestly I'm disappointed with my past self, I'm too reliant on my light energies my physical strength was lacking feels a little down, skeeth. Pat Michael back it's alright, what matters is that you take the first step right with the other guys nodding in agreement, Michael. Feel reassured hearing the encouragement from the others and bow to others thank you everyone, skeeth will you guys go freshen up first, then wait at the living room I got somewhere to go, I'll be back after a while go out and teleport somewhere, they say. Notice that the girls are in trance looking at the guys ooh is there something wrong. All the girls are flustered after remembering what they do just now and immediately leaves the gym. Sirs itch that was weird shrugs anyways let's go guys, time to hit the hot spring first, first come first serve chow run straight to the hot spring, leaving others in dust. The say H E Y Y start running trying to catch up with the other guys following suit, scene change living room, Bali you know this is the first time that Skeeth sent go out after he came back from his business, Arthur. Adjusting his glass probably something important, Azizel. Notice that Tobio thought of something something wrong Tobio. Tobio oh it just, sounds of door opening, Skeeth will I'm back getting inside while carrying five sacks, they say oh what was that Skeeth send while point at the sack that Skeeth just put on the floor, Skeeth well, seeing that those two that kidnapped you guys with X cast sweat drops forgot these five, decided to bring them there open the sacks showing Suzaku Himajima say Tauju Kauki Samajima Natsum Minagawa and Shigyu Nenaderu, Tobio guys worriedly go to his childhood friend crush, fiance and his team members, Lavinia. Suzaku-chan everyone hurriedly go to her friend and the others, after the people that just brought here by Skeeth woke up and catching up with what just happened, Natsum so we're watching non-perverted alternate version of Apai Dragon Kun. With a Saiyan drag got hit with emotional damage arrow from the reminder, Shigyun. After he wished it because. Say his former harem deem him to perverted. Aki okay dot dot that messed up sure he's perverted with a say got hit with perverted arrows, but from my observation his former harem action doesn't help at all, considering that they seduce him all the time, pretty sure that they're more perverted than him, but this say ex harem feels insulted hearing the comments, bull Suzaku giving Akeno stern look making her nervous, Suzaku I don't know what to say Akeno, he treat you so well, start giving other ex harem members stern look he cherish all of you happiness more than his own, willing to shield all of you from harm but, just because one of his flaw you all chose to deem him not worthy for your own selfishness why, that he can accept all of you flaw, while well you all can't accept his own. Rubbing forehead from the headache letting out a sigh what I could say Shuri Sen would totally be disappointed with you Akeno turned and leaves, while Akeno frozen in shock from what she just heard, Arachiel. Thinking while shaking head I hope this will help my daughter sort her thoughts and willing to accept that every action has consequences, it's your lost daughter. But Suzaku go to Issei giving him sisterly hug, making him embarrassed from sudden contact, while his harem try not to feel jealous. Suzaku am really sorry that my cousin action making you suffer this pain, letting go and give him a bow as head of Himajima clan, I'm are really sorry for my cousin action toward you. Issei oh oh, it's alright, please raise your head no need to bow yourself to me scratch cheek embarrassed besides, from others, and Skeeth send advice I has learned to move on, don't let myself be chained from the past, with his ex harem feels ache in their heart, hearing Issei words. Suzaku I I see. Give him kind smile and turn to Skeeth giving him a bow thank you for helping us say San. Skeeth. Shrugs it's alright true bros always help fellow bros, right guys. But every man that hear it nod their head in agreement, Skeeth. Anyways I'm gonna send you 5 memories from the past viewing, don't worry it won't be painful send information from past viewing to all 5 of them, Shigyun woe to think that both the heavenly dragons was released I never thought such thing was possible, Haki damn I would love to go to that world they go to, it's rocks, Natsum. Slap Kauki at back of the head stop dreaming you would be slaughtered in an instant you go there, Kauki ouch what was that for bird brain, Natsum would you call me? Both budding heads with sparks between their eyes while Shigyun desperately tried to separate them, Tobio. 
sweat drops still same huh? Say. Holding one of Tobio hand still I'm glad that I can spend more time with you lovingly looking at Tobio, making him blush, Suzaku. Holding Tobio another arm giving him loving smile yeah me too Toby kun, skeeth. Anyways I think it's time to start next viewing point the remote to screen, screen open, scene change hi to house living room, Rainer. Looking at Asia praying for a save volley drag and Albion safety don't worry Asia Chan, they're tough people we need to believe in them giving her kind smile, Asia. Finished her prayer I know. But I can't help but worry for them. Halwerner. Hug her trying to comfort her now now let those depressing thought go. Middle yup collar right, worrying for them won't change anything all we need to do just now is to wait for them, don't seek. Fondly looking those four interactions and turn to Razor Sererg Kusha and Yubaluna, still thank you for also willing to wait for their return with us, Sererg. How what other me doing there, Kusha? I'm also wondering why, Yubaluna never thought that I'm also there, Razor. Razor think maybe that they also waiting for them, Sererg. Sounds legit shrugs. Razor haha of course Razor would be here. Razor friend gonna be back from that world. Razor would love to hear all the stories they gonna tell seeing that they gonna resume doing high rank mission. Sererg. Agreed. Since both of us only managed to reach the end of HR1. Shame we ran out of time before we need to go back home with both him and Razor letting out a sigh. Razor yeah trying to restart from scratch was an eye opening glad to say brought us both there to think that even low ranked quest pose such danger. Ravel. Ani Sama could tell us about the world both you and Sererg Sama go before. Kusha me too Sererg Sama, I'm also curious. But others look interested. Sererg hmm, I can't explain much since both of us didn't manage to reach higher in rank. Razor. Nodding yeah that world has special properties that make anyone that go there unable to use magic, supernatural abilities, sacred gear, and the visitor would only able use their own physical strength and natural abilities oh, nearly forgot that one day here was equivalent to one month there. Middled. Wait what? Halwerner no wonder Vali sent said they got lot of time, Sererg. Not to mention from what is say tell us the monster that live there can only be injured in that world, sighing we learn it the hard way, both of us nearly died many times. Razor yeah, Razor got many too close encounters eye twitching, especially when fought that bird, Razor never thought Razor gonna meet something that was so annoying in Razor life, Sererg. Covering his face in exasperation erg I hate that bird it, always call the freaking bulldrum of all things shivering from the reminder, Razor. Give hollow eyes Razor always get hit with that blasted thing, remembering when the bulldrum that was summoned would always charge and hit him, especially when you're a cliff, Sererg. Give hollow eyes worse when the bulldrum call the bullfangos, Sun Wukong. Bulldrum. Iku. Bullfangos. Skeeth yep you don't want that thing charging at you, they're one of the most bloodthirstiest monster in that world, let me show the picture. Sirzich ouch I can understand why both Razor and Sererg give that reaction, Azizel. Rubbing his back must be painful getting hit with that thing especially right from the tusk. Both Razor and Sarayr give hollow eyes remembering beating they got the time when the Kurapeko they was hunting, summoned two Boldrum in Area 2 in Misty Peaks, where it was filled with the Bullfangos. Many flashbacks start, Sarayr herpes herpes me. Got thrown like a pinball getting hit by Bullfangos charge from all directions, with ending get hit from the back, and falls to the cliff below. Razor. Sarayr Gerg literally become dodgeball, got thrown like a ragdoll with the Boldrums as the player, and also got thrown to cliff below like Sarayr, but the two Boldrums and the entire herd of Bullfangos jump from the cliff heading to where Sarayr and Razor has fallen intending to finish the deed. Mini flashback end. In case anyone curious Razor was wearing Great Ravi series, well Sarayr using Great Jaggy series and both using sword and shield as weapon, but both Razor and Sarayr turned pale white seeing their other self one-sided beatdown, while other Xgas jaw drop seeing the Boldrums and Bullfangos brutality. They say. Sweating I take dealing with stray devils rather than deal with those things. Auden. Slowly turned to Skeeth while sweating are you sure those things was encountered at low rank mission? Skeeth. Give mysterious smile yep they are oh did I forgot to mention that the one you can find on higher rank was more bloodthirsty than the one you guys just see. Udo. Nervous smile you're kidding right Skeeth san. Skeeth. Give a smirk while thinking and the monster encountered on high rank gain new moves too. But every X cast fell chills in their spine, hoping not to encounter bulldrums and bullfangos in their life, especially in dark alleyway. Razor. Razor never got such humiliation in Razor life before muttering. Sarah Erd no wonder is say said when in that world screwed dignity and status if want to live we barely managed to escape. Muttering. Ravel. Give nervous chuckle seeing both Razor and Sererg reaction, judging from my brother and Sererg Sama reaction no wonder Issa Sama don't want to bring us there, Kusha. Put finger on chin thinking if I remember right they go to those place around two years ago and back then, both Sererg Sama and Razor Sama was peak high class devil. Don't see come no wonder Issa Sensei that, seems like we need to step up our training while Rainer, Kalwerner and Middle nodding in agreement, Asia. Still thank you Yubaluna-san, Kusha-san for teaching me using magic give them a bow, Yubaluna. 
Chuckle it's alright Asia Chan, still I'm shocked that you wanted to learn attack and defensive spells from us, Pusha. Considering that you are none and you are kind person, Asia. Shake head I know but since meeting Asace and I learned that sometimes we need to learn to defense ourselves and hurting others, even if I don't want to and I don't want to be protected all the time, give determined face, Rainer. Give Asia a hug and nuzzle her cheek against Asia, making her blush all a little Asia already grown up, Asia. Give you Baluna and Kusha a bow thank you for helping my other self getting stronger, Kusha. It's alright Asia Chan if you need lesson in magic you can call me anytime, you Baluna. Give a chuckle if need help learning magic theory, you can also ask me anytime, or up and, Issei. We're home, Asia. Issei send getting up and running to Issei giving him a hug with Ravel, Rainer, Middleton Calowin are following suit, Ollie home sweet home, stretching how's everyone. Braghem, seems like you five gotten stronger in this two weeks with Asia Rainer middled, Calwerner, and don't a seek feels proud get compliment from the heavenly dragon of all people, Albion. Judging from what you tell me before Drake now the nun was around mid-level middle class devil at least in strength and power, well those four was easily as strong as high class devil, Issei. Give a smirk seems like all of you abuse using the diorama right. With every one of them rubbing back of head in embarrassment, Sir Erg. Rubbing head embarrassed he don't mind me also using the diorama too together with my peerage for training, Razor. Also rubbing head embarrassed here Razor hope you don't mind that Razor also bring Razor peerage for training and Razor family for vacation inside there, Issei. Shaking head in amusement he, I don't mind you both are my friend and seems like you both finally reached peak ultimate class devil level in power the wonder of training, let out content sigh. Bali I call that diorama hacks you know hacks, Greg well at least it wasn't hyperbolic time chamber, Albion. Shrugging pretty sure every faction would covet that place if it exist here that place was real hacks, anyways I'm gonna get back inside, I'm gonna take a nap, Greg yep I'm also gonna get inside yawning, both Drag and Albion get back inside Issei and Bali and sound of snore getting heard across the house, making everyone sweat drops, Bali lazy ass dragons. Odd and well they wasn't wrong though about the diorama, sirs itch that diorama was hacks, Azizel. Seeing that one hour outside was same as a day inside means one day outside equivalent to 24 day and multiply them to 14, they got 336 days amount of training but if they only use 13 days and one last day outside to wait for their return, it would be 312 days puff chest feeling proud after the calculation, Shemhazai nerds, Arachiel boo, but Azazel feels depressed with rain of cloud above him while making circle on the ground from the insult while everyone else sweat drops from their antics, they say. Give proud smile to Asia Rainer Calowiner Middleton don't seek I'm proud of you all, seems like you four already got three pair of wings already notice the four fall and shows their wing well, we'll get back to train tomorrow, I'll show you guys more technique to learn, Razor. Nodding from Razor estimation each one of those four can easily wipe the floor of Razor former fiancé entire peerage, just by using Rocky Shiki alone, Sir Erg. Shaking head in disappointment seems like my cousin don't get the message from your raiding battle against her razor she doesn't ever bother to train at all after your beatdown against them, razor. Rubbing forehead from headache you're right, seems like she only train when there would be a battle even Ravel can single-handedly defeat Rias and her peerage alone at least Sona and her peerage was more hardworking than them training, Ollie. Give blank stare you're kidding right I get that having power of destruction would make anyone powerful but that doesn't make an excuse to being lazy and without training, anyone can kill them if get caught off guard, Issei. Shrug she's probably spoiled thinking that having power of destruction is enough, there's limit how far people can go just depending on power alone and at least her brother was hardworking person training his power that I can respect, Ollie. Seems like Citriaris was more hardworking person that her I can respect that, Issei. Nod head in agreement I agree with you I can respect her drive to become stronger but Sona feels proud and happy from compliment while Rias got hit with countless spoiled and lazy arrows, Rias. Turn to Serzich and ask him was I'm too lazy and spoiled from having power of destruction, Serzich. Let out a sigh as much this pain me to say this yes Rias you are making Rias shocked hearing that from her own brother, Ali. Anyways let's go eat, I'm getting hungry, we'll continue after lunch, I'm gonna take a bath first go to bathroom, I say well you're right, let's go been a while since I'm back to my kitchen go to his kitchen, but everyone go to the kitchen after I say done cooking and eat hearty lunch, several days later, scene change hi do house kitchen, Asia. Dumbfounded watching I say action um I say san. Rainer is there something wrong? Worriedly looking at I say, Ravel. Came into kitchen and stopped in tracks after watching what I say currently doing what's wrong with I say sama, I say. In trance while currently pouring cooking oil over his kitchen knife and slowly brought the oil bottle to his mouth to drink it, Asia Rainer Ravel. Issei San Issei Kun Issei Sama, Issei. Snapped out of it and start looking around what wa what just happened, Issei. What's wrong with other me? Dumbfounded, Ollie. Laughing his ass off watching what just happened gahahaha did other you gone crazy hi do. 
Ha 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 ha. But others chuckle seeing what just happened. Skeeth I won't be sure if you want to laugh Volley with Volley stop laughing after hear what Skeeth just say. Scene change Volley and Albion room morning. Greg. Creeping to beside Albion bed hiding his presence while noting Albion still sleeping such peaceful sleeping face. Such a shame if it would be disturbed start giving evil smile. Greg ooh this I gotta see waiting on anticipation. Albion. Don't you dare drag. Greg. Make me bitch. Albion what you call me? But other sweat drops hearing Drag and Albion banters. Skeeth. Taking a page from your other self huh Drag smirks. Drag. Go to volley bed and take body pillow, then harden it using magic and go beside Albion, preparing use it to wake Albion up and start getting into trance. Azazel. Seems like Drag show same symptom like a say too. Drag. Taking several step back using charge slash and miss the slash. Albion ha 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 you missed. Skeeth. Whistling mysteriously you sure you want to say that Albion? Well Albion start dreading what gonna happen next. Greg. Brought the body pillow back preparing true charge slash and woke up from the trance during mid slash and tripped with the body pillow heading to Albion crotch in slow motion oh boy. Scene showing sky above Haidu house with sounds of Albion screaming in pain. With everyone start laughing out loud with Drake being the loudest. Drake ha 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 This is priceless such beautiful scene I ever seen in my life ha 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 Desperately trying to not laughing from the scene. Albion. Frozen in shock after seeing from what his other self just suffered. Skeeth. Let out a chuckle well I guess it's time for Albion turn with drag instantly stop laughing while Albion start letting out malicious chuckle. Several day later after true charge slash incident. Scene change SA and drag room midnight. Albion. Sneakily get inside the room noticing Drake still asleep unaware of impending doom and start giving malicious smile. But every x cast flinch from the fright seeing other Albion expression. Great red damn, he's really pissed off huh. How cow who wouldn't after getting painful wake up call like that. But Albion still letting out malicious chuckle and Drake praying for his other self safety. Albion. Making a spell changing Drake pajamas into Barney costume and conjure big fake egg and put it just beside Drake bottom and go to other side of the room and start recording kukuki kuku. Let me show you what master photoshopper can do bitch kukuki kuku. Sirs it well guess his experience following volley and do recording video for him finally come in handy. Albion. Adjust the video he took making like Drake just lay an egg and click his tongue feeling it wasn't enough and brought out a detonator. Sirs it wait why other Albion brought out C4 detonator of all things. Albion. Make a barrier surrounding drag bed and one more surrounding the egg and drag bud area, then take another video while slowly pressing the trigger, while the screen x-ray in slow motion zooming inside the egg, showing the inside of it, was countless amount of magically enhanced C4 bomb. Drag no 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 Albion yes 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 y e s s s s. Scene showing sky above Haidu house with explosion sounds going off followed with Drake painful scream on the background, but most cast cast laughing out loud from scene and some of them jaw drops from the brutality. Shiva that is the most painful destruction I ever seen in my life. Next morning, with Albion check on the YouTube seeing that a video he just posted got over 10 million views. Albion oh yes life is good. Another day later, scene changed near random warehouse. Scene showing several countless Yakuza desperately trying to get away from something. Yakuza a arg help help running away well covered with bruises. Yakuza b. Got hit with something and falls into a barrel unconscious. Yakuza c. Anyone save me from this lunatic turn trying to run, but get his ass pierced with Nokia phone. But X cast flinch from phantom pain seeing what just transpired. Yakuza boss did I piss off any phone deity from my past life or something. Passed out from fright while foaming from mouth. How cow was. Bali ha 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 proceeds beating other unfortunate Yakuza while dual wielding sword made of Nokia phone and wearing full armor made of Nokia phone. I say. Instantly laughing his ass off when see what other volley was wearing ha 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 what other you just wear volley ha 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 Azizel. Rolling on the ground laughing holy shit that was the most awesome armor I ever seen in my life. Or. Shed a tear of awe from seeing the armor I want armor like that too. But volley frozen in shock seeing his other self shenanigans. Several days later. Scene change Haidu house living room. Issei. Give pointed stare at Bali after watching news about maniac wearing armor made of Nokia phone beating Yakuza group with weapon made of Nokia phone. Bali. Whistling innocently is something wrong I say. Make innocent face. I say. Fasipamur guy don't know what possessed you to do that. Ali. While still making innocent face do what? I say you know what I give up rubbing forehead from the headache. But other tenant in the house sweat drops watching Bali antics. Greg. Start sniffing after smell something familiar getting inside the town. Albion. Well also do the same like Drake. Greg okay what make other me do that? Albion even, I'm puzzled. I say. What's wrong Drake? Bali did something happen. Greg. Nothing, just that someone with peculiar smell just get inside the town. Albion yeah we know the smell is but forgot what it called how about you start smelling it too Volley, considering that you also learned this technique. Volley. Start sniffing him you're right the word was just tip of my tongue but what was it? 
is say. Sweatdrops I'm still curious what the name of the technique you three learned and it uses, anyways I'm gonna sleep earlier got lot of work tomorrow, go to his room yawning. But Vali, Drag and Albion continue sniffing the smell trying to pinpoint it location. Than and Hamai wonder what technique that they learned that make them start smelling around like that. Great Red. Honestly I'm also curious turn to Skeeth trying to ask. Skeeth. Chuckles I won't spoil but this technique only male can learn and you could say that this a technique that every male wished to know thinking considering that I accidentally teach them that technique could say that those three was really lucky managed to comprehend that technique albeit not fully mastered but everyone else puzzled and curious about the technique Ajuka why I feel that this technique is a must learn for us men. Sirs it you got the feeling too Ajuka. Michael even I feel the same. Scene change to B classroom. is say. Hearing Drake start sniffing again dude, can't you stop the sniffing, honestly it is annoying though I can't concentrate teaching my class, Drake. Sorry I can't help it but currently the smell was at the front of school gate right in front of the Citrieris and her queen, Sona. Could it be when me and Tsubaki meet Zenobia and Arena? Tsubaki did he meant of the Excalibur fragment. Skeeth. Hide a laugh and shake head from Tsubaki questions nah it wasn't that, I say. Could it be the two exorcists that came to our town was the smell you mentioned from the holy sword they carry. Greg nah it wasn't that I think I remember what smell it was, but need to see it face to face to confirm it, and speaking of the two exorcists no need to worry, just an inexperienced one that doesn't know the world yet, and the smell came from one of them, but both Arena and Zenobia got hit with countless inexperienced and smelly arrows, as is a louch I can feel the burn from here. Sirs it same I hope other me doesn't get insults too, great red. Sneakily hiding notebook after writing on a dam, this universe was gold mine glad I get brought here, lots of cool line to learn. Griselda as much I hate to admit it, other drags and is right, both of them was too inexperienced rubbing forehead from the headache. And again, both Arena and Zenobia got hit with another salvo of inexperienced arrows. I say if you say so, anyways I'm gonna continue with my class, tell me if you found something else. Greg. Sure, I'm gonna take a nap my ass still hurts from back then. I say. Sweat drops after hearing sounds of snoring you're the one that asked for it. Scene change outside of Haidu house. I say well finally back home, noticed the two exorcist energy he sensed before was inside the house and was in front of Rainer talking him. Wonder what an exorcist doing here, seems like Vali and Albion wasn't home open the door and getting inside. I say. Sweat drops well other me was too laid back though. Greg well he wasn't worried because the others inside the house can easily kill them if they do anything stupid. Considering that each of those four fallen and little phoenix was easily stronger than Grimory Eris back then. And the nun can easily fought with those two ending in stalemate. Both Asia and Ravel beaming in happiness hearing Drake praise. With Arena and Zenobia praying hoping their other self won't do anything stupid. They say. I'm home get inside the living room and notice that two exorcist Arena and Zenobia was talking with Rainer and Ravel did we have a guest. But Arena gasp after seeing a say in long time since their childhood while Zenobia raised an eyebrow seeing who just came. Greg. Decided to sniff a smell that came from Zenobia and widen eyes in shock after realizing what smell it was and thought the smell could it be. Screen close. Skeeth. Yawning and turned to others well how's everyone, any thoughts or questions. Suzaku if I may ask why all four of them doing that, especially Issei San and Dreg San, what make them gone into trance. Roswas I was also gonna ask that but you're right why Skeeth San. Skeeth. Let out small chuckle well you could say that was small side effect after going to that world, if you guys noticed when they're in a trance or some behavior, it's related to their weapon preference or hunting behavior. Isaka. Pardon me for asking more do you mind explaining more, I'm sure most of us still don't understand with most cast nodding. Skeeth haha it's alright for other SA case it's about his weapon, sword and shield, there's a technique that puts some kind of special oil to the sword to give extra properties, while other drag as greatsword user has tendency to use wake charge slash against sleeping monster, while other albion he has tendency to set up bombs against sleeping or trapped monster, and other volley you could he's the type that kills small monster that was in the area they're hunting the target monster first, expect that every time they they come back from that world there, would be weird behavior they gonna show so in nutshell just treat it like harmless PTSD. Most cast. Sweat drops thinking harmless he say. Bajuka I see no wonder they act like that. Both Milikas and Kunu yawning and rubbing their eyes, and Lilith and Office, already sleep using a say lap as pillow. Skeeth well seems everyone tired already, take care then, I'll be back later by the way you five can find room with your name on it open door and leaves. Say well that was quite enjoyable show. Suzaku that was an interesting experience I better take this opportunity to rest against clan leader responsibility during my time here stretching out. But everyone goes to their respective room for rest and sleep after long day of watching. Meanwhile for Zenovia. Zenovia was I'm that smelly though. 
start sniffing herself and smell nothing wrong, but decided to go to her room and take long bath just to be sure. Ep 14 acting and sending two exorcists to jail. Flashback. Also when Xcast seeing scene where there will be nudes the person whose body that was exposed would be covered in cloud at their private parts in respect of the character privacy. Also disclaimer to every character and pictures I use for this fanfic except idea I used to create for this story and my avatar Ock. Skeeth. Walking silently heading home well dot dot then, seems like a say getting his spirits back to before, sometimes I wonder why many people hate him, sure he's pervert but he doesn't deserve all that treatment shaking head, remembering countless fanfic here ed where the Ock or any character that come to DXD verse stole a say position and making him as villain or humiliate him just because they dislike his perverted attitude, see his house in distance and sit a chair he just conjured continue thinking, skeeth thinking well not like I'm innocent back then I also enjoy see it before but looking back that was childish of me hating him just because of his perverted attitude when there's lot of more despicable person to dislike instead of a say. Anyways enough thinking let's see how others doing getting up and go inside the house. Noticed that everyone was chatting against each other while noticed that both Zenobia and Arena desperately praying that their other self won't get treatment from a say. Skeeth. Sweat drops thinking well sorry that it was useless to pray back, then both of you has no tact and offensive with your words so expect the worst, but both Arena and Zenobia got sudden chills in their spines despite their prayers, Asko. Noticed that Skeeth just came back and waved to him ooh Skeeth-san, you're back how are you? Skeeth. Good, how's everyone? What are you guys chatting about? Michael well. Actually we're bit curious how other Issei and Bali will deal with Kakabiel and the stolen Excalibur matter, Griselda. Rubbing forehead from incoming headache honestly I'm hoping that those two won't do anything stupid like offending a say K instantly make fake cough hiding her blunder, blushing a bit is say San and Bali San there, Roy Gun. For some reason I feel that the two of them point to Arena and Zenobia using her thumb, will end up offending a say Kun their turn to a say and wave at him giving kind and hexy smile, making him blush a bit, but this say harem felt little jealous seeing that, but try to hold the jealousy down after remembering Yasaka suggestions, Ali. Shrugs well from what I remember from my first time meeting them they was kinda offensive with their words, and seeing that other me not associated with Grigori I wonder how point using his thumb to Gremory and Citri Peerage, they gonna deal with Kakabiel, seeing that I'm not gonna get sent by old man there using thumb point to Azazel to save the day, is say. Letting out a sigh as much I hate to admit, thanks Bali for saving us back then even I'm curious, seeing that other me are not in Ria's Peerage who gonna help Kibba with his revenge, Ria's. Thinking why dot dot he called me by my name but dot dot why it hurts. Udo. Seeing that other is a not gonna help me could I probably do it alone with my revenge. Skeeth. Shrugs well. No use pondering it, let's watch it point the remote to screen and turn to readers warning to my fellow readers this chapter is probably a bashing one if you all thought so, sorry to Arena and Zenobia fans. Screen open, scene change hide you house living room, Arena. Issei Kun getting up happy after seeing her childhood friend after long time, a certain song start playing, Issei. Tilt head looking at Arena confused who are you? Anyway do you two mind waiting for a while I gotta go to toilet first, we'll be back after a while by the way turn to his house tenant Ravel Asia, don't seek do you three mind making some snacks and drinks for our guests? Ravel and Asia sure Issei Sama Issei Kun goes to kitchen, don't seek sure, I don't mind follow Ravel and Asia to the kitchen, Issei well. I'll be back turn and leaves to the bathroom toilet, Sigma Rule 34. The man always have their priorities straight, but Arena frozen in shock from got ignored just like that, song ends playing, Azazel. Whistle damn she got ignored just like that, Bali he got his priorities straight what a Sigma, but every guy looking at Sigma Rule on the screen and take it to the heart, scene change bathroom, but this say currently was washing his face and Drake leaning on his back at the wall of the bathroom, Drake so? How's you gonna deal with those two? They say. Finished washing his face and turned to Drake well. I already got my plan covered, unless they offend me, they're okay in my book start tell Drag his other plan in case the first one fail. Drag I see well, I gotta go find Bali and Albion first to prepare for the plan by the way be careful with the blue haired girl, she's bad news from what I found out, don't hold back against her, you'll understand what I mean if my hunch is right put his fingers and use instant transmission teleport to Bali and Albion current location, but Zenovia puzzled why other Drake call her bad news, sirs it's my guess probably because from what technique used by Drake San after he discovered about the smell that came from Zenovia, they say. Tilt head puzzled about Drake words well. That kinda weird, what do Drake mean by that? Whatever, probably not important, I'll think about it later, gotta relay both of the plan to others first. Start using sound transmission technique Asia Ravel Rainer, Calorin or Middle Donaseek, but everyone that got called stumble a bit after hearing a say voice in their head, a say. Sorry if this is sudden and scaring you all, but I have a plan on how to deal with those two start describing his plan to others. Saji what how did a say talk with them without using magic? There's no magic circle forming. 
Odd and the young devil is right I can't found any trace of magic at all. Skeeth to be brief it is sound's transmission technique both Issei Vali, Drag and Albion learnt it from Issei, and Vali teacher back then, it's a technique that sends thought sounds from your mind to others so in a nutshell, just think of it as telepathy, I'm lazy to describe more, but everyone else sweat drops hearing the reason, after several while, scene change hide you house living room, but Asia Ravel and Donacy came back already from the kitchen bringing out some food and drinks, Zenobia, Irina, what's wrong? Irina oh, it's nothing it just that Issei Kun don't remember me let out a sigh. Rainer oh do you know Issei Kun? Irina. Brighten up yeah he's my childhood friend we always stick together playing before but I have to leave suddenly following my parents job by the way who are you three? Rainer. Well us three sisters and Donacy came to cool looking for works to make a living. Donacy I know those three parents before and promised to look after them after their passing, so I've been looking after them all these time. Middled we came from same orphanage so it's hard to find place that would accept us because of our background. Al Werner and coincidentally Ray meet Issei Kun and he agreed to accept us as maids and butler to look over his house when he's working. Arena. Working. Wasn't Issei Kun still a student tilt head after seeing Rainer, Cal Werner and Middle Chuckles. Ravel. Actually Issei Sama was working at Kuo Academy as teacher there he finished his university earlier. Arena. Wide-eyed in shock hearing the information Iarili, Issei Kun is incredible I never thought that he finished university already. Zenobia still start looking around the house where is Mr. and Mrs. Haidu. Arena yeah, you're right. Where are they? I haven't seen them, they should be here, turn to Rainer, Kalwiner and Middled. Bravo. About them. Middled. From what Issei sent tell us before, both of them died during car accident. Arena what? Dot dot start putting her hand to her mouth shocked from hearing the news of Haidu couple passing since when. But this A felt a little down after remembering his other self-parent death and both Goru and Mickey hug him trying to comfort their son. Asia. From what Issa San told us before. It happens when he's nine year old. Well I don't remember what age did Arena leave following her parents but just treated, she leaves Kuo when she's just six year old. Arena just three year after I left dot dot how he's faring dot dot did he get brought to any orphanage. Halwerner. Shake head no, he isn't he said that his teacher became his guardian. Middle the truth is even us still curious who his teacher is, Issei Kun haven't tell us much about him. Great red even I'm curious seeing that their teacher came from different universe. Zenobia so. Where is his guardian? Rainer. Put her finger on her chin thinking from what Issei Kun tell us he gone missing when he's 14. Don't seek. It's really unfortunate, looking back, Issei Sen always get happier when talking about his teacher. Arena I see I pray Issei Kun will found his guardian, but Issei came out wearing farmer clothes and a hat hanging over his back. Issei okay why other me wearing that kind of attire? Puzzled. Alder haha but it also looks good on you Issei giving him thumbs up. Ikuhum. Why it looks familiar. Thinking of something. Issei. Getting to his seat so dot dot who are you two looking at Arena you said you know me. Arena. Pouting and start pointing to herself Mao Issei Kun, it's me Irina, Irina should your childhood friend, don't you remember back, then we always play together make cute pui. Issei Irina should you realizing who the one in front of him was wait, wasn't you a boy getting up from his seat dramatically oh my god I know that back then you sometimes you act like a girl cover his mouth with his hand while letting out fake tear but dot dot to think that you getting a surgery to become woman dot dot oh my god I pity Mr. and Mrs. should you dot dot. But Irina frozen in shock after hearing that Issei thought of her having surgery for gender change from men to woman. Meanwhile every Haidu house tenant holding back laugh after hearing what Issei just said. Meanwhile with immature cast laughing non-stop after hearing that other Issei thought that Irina getting a surgery for gender change. Azizel. Rolling on the ground laughing holy shit that's the biggest misunderstanding of the century. Serzich. Tapping his knees from laughing too hard damn this funny as hell. Serafal. Wheezing from laughingly I can't stop replaying the scene in my head ha 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 ha. Ollie. Holding his sides laughing holy shit this Haidu was brutal. Irina Muu Issei Kun I'm always a girl sure I dressed up like a boy before but I'm still a girl. Issei Ui I see my apologies, sorry for that coughing still what bring you back to Kuo after all this time. Zenovia me and Irina came back here on business eyeing Ravel and Asia never thought that a devil and a witch would be on same place. Issei. Raise an eyebrow devil and witch. What do you mean just now? Who's the devil and witch? Zenovia I mean both of them rudely point to Ravel and Asia. Ravel. Get small tick marks from the rude gesture and thought come on keep your cool ravel need to keep the act going. Issei. Sending his thoughts to others to start the act alright everyone let's start the act to fool both of them. Everyone. Alright. Asia. Point to herself me. A witch. Rainer. Dramatically hugging Asia and glare at Zenovia why you call her a witch, she's such a sweet girl. Zenovia. She's a witch that got excommunicated for healing a devil her name is Asia Argento am I right? 
Irina oh, you're right Zenovia she looks the same from the report heard she's been banished because she can heal fallen angel and devil. Zenovia if you still believe in God let us execute you down by our hand in the name of God. Surely God willing to give a hand of forgiveness to a sinner like you point covered Excalibur destruction to Asia face. Middled. Give her pointed look are you serious? Halwerner. She's probably on drugs or delusional shake head in disappointment but Zenovia got hit with on drugs and delusional arrows. Don't seek shit I'm gonna make a call first we got two crazy Chunabu on the loose leave the room in a hurry. Ravalake turned to Arena as people from the church like this sure, I'm cute but no need to call me a devil, give it Sunday or pout. Issei well Ravel is cute for sure nodding. Well Ravel stuttered after Issei call her cute. Razor. Stealthily waving Issei's Ravel flag in the background together with entire Phoenix family. Issei. Fake rubbing forehead from the headache wait 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 why you call Ravel a devil got any reason narrow his eyes at both Arena and Zenobia but both of them got a chills in their spine seeing a say narrowed eyes. Arena. Put her pointy finger together sweating we well, she got dark blue eyes and blonde hair that associated with Phoenix clan of 72 house of demons, only Phoenix clan has those eyes and hair color. Sounds of several facipum in room. Berselda that is the most lousiest excuse I ever heard in my entire life turned to Arena giving her a smile, I hope you're prepared for re-education. But Arena shivering of fright remembering Griselda teaching. Issei. Facipum and slowly dragging his hand down from his face and thought I know back then she's an airhead but this is beyond retarded. But Arena frozen in shock while dark cloud raining airhead and retarded words above her. Ravel. Give blank stare at Arena first my name is Ravel Venix not Phoenix and Asia is my older sister, since when she became an Argento, I've been with her with my entire life, don't think that because she has timid personality that you can bully her thought sorry father mother and brother for using fake name hope you all forgive me, lord. Rubbing Ravel head haha, it's okay my child we don't mind at all. Asia you um Ravel Chan is right my name is Asia Venix not Argento and God wouldn't like for his follower to kill people under his name thinking oh God, please forgive me for lying for the first time in my life. Michael well dot dot even if other you is lying but other you is right Asia sent father wouldn't like if his follower using his name as an excuse just to hurt or killing other people. Gabriel. Give Asia a hug don't be sad, we're thankful that you still believe in God, even after you become a devil. Zenobia you start to brought back covered Excalibur destruction to strike Asia down, after felt insulted hearing her words. Asia. Gasp from sudden action and cover herself with her hands. Arena. Zenobia no. Sounds of gunshot going off. My bad, English not my first language so sometimes I'm not good to describe words if any kind soul, willing to tell how to to describe it better, I'm grateful for it. Zenobia gar Elise covered Excalibur destruction from her hands, feeling pain from the hand that hold it, after it got shoot and look what hit her hand a BB pellets. With everyone else turned to the source of gunshot seeing a say holding a gun with smoking gun barrel, a say. Start wearing his hat and brought out a shotgun from the back of the sofa, pointing to Zenobia head first shot is just BB pellets next shot is real gunpowder bullet eye, dare you to make any move and make any action, her eye blast your head off, Rainer, Kalwerner, middled, there's a gun compartment from the back of the sofa looking back to Zenobia giving her a glare you pick the wrong house to mess fool put your hands above your heads, Iku. Getting up and point to the screen holy shit I knew it why it looks familiar, it's the farmer with a shotgun no better yet farmer is say with a shotgun, Ollie. Holy shit my rival become a living memes. Zioticus. He's not a mere red dragon emperor anymore he's a farmer dragon with a shotgun emperor. Great red. Thinking I gotta find and stock up some shotgun to use next time. Odd and that sounds badass. Azazel I just got new ideas for a sacred gear brought out his notebook and furiously writing in it. Surzich. Seems like my little brother is always same even in another universe you really love Dragon Ball huh is say shaking head in amusement. Greg. I'll take that title over that embarrassing one. Albion. Hate to admit but that's a baddest title. While Issei covering his face blushing from the embarrassment from others teasing. With Rainer, Kalwerner and Middle take a gun for themselves and aimed it to Arena, making her put her hands up. Arena. Sweating bullets after got pointed with a gun I say kun. S surely this is just misunderstanding C could we just forget all this. Issei. Well still looking at Zenovia making sure she doesn't make suspicious action, sorry Arena, childhood friend or not your friend here tried to attack a tenant in my house, I can't just let it go even if she has mental problems, but Zenovia suddenly got hit on head by imaginary anvil written with mental problems words, but Donaseek finally came back after hearing the gunshot, Donaseek. What happened? Rainer. Just as she point to Zenovia with her head tried to strike down Asia, Donaseek what? How dare she brought a rope and goes to Zenovia using it to tie her hands and legs, Issei. Donaseek, could you please move the weapon on the side so that she won't be able to take it back. Donaseek sure picked the covered Excalibur destruction and brought it to other side of the room. But Zenovia and Arena shocked seeing how Donaseek easily pick up the Excalibur fragment. I R I N A N Zenovia. 
thinking a natural born carrier. Skeeth tut tut, he's a fallen angel in hiding of course he can pick up the Excalibur fragment. Middle so. Who did you call Donaseek? Hal Werner? Ray's an eyebrow was at the police. Donaseeko not just a mere police let out a smirks. Suddenly the front door got thrown open violently and three figure with different familiar hair color came inside the living room. Red hair frizzy put your hands up this place already surrounded. Surrender yourself. White hair we got a report that two mad women came to this house wielding a weapon. Silver hair. Notice that the two mentioned on the report already got neutralized oh seems the target already been neutralized, brought out walkie talkie and talked to the others waiting outside. With countless amount of SAT team came inside and put handcuffs in straight jacket to both Zenovia and Arena. Zenovia. Erg let me go you pagan struggling to release herself. SAT member a damn, she's a feisty one. Arena let us go, we're innocent god won't approve this while letting out crocodile tears and turned to essay begging him to talk sense to SAT officer to let her and Zenovia go. Essay. Sighing sorry but it has to be done, I don't want to do this but I has no choice seeing that your friend tried to injure my house tenant. SAT member B. Seems like the target has been detained, we'll brought them to the truck first give salute to the SAT member with three distinctive hair color. Red hair good by the way no need to bring that point to Excalibur fragment on floor we'll handle it by here. All SAT member yes sir all leave bringing both Zenovia and Arena to police station. But most cast jaw drops after seeing what just happened. Skeeth will any thoughts. Julio wow dot dot just wow never thought that those two would get apprehended by police just like that. Griselda. Rubbing forehead from headache I told her many times already that her brashness and hot-headed temperance would get them in trouble someday, seems like their other self learnt it the hard way already. With Arena and Zenovia depressed seeing how their other self get into jail just like that. So no what I'm confused is how they managed to make a SAT team out of all people came. Suzaku. They'll probably explain it next. White hair. Let's make the report from the victim in the meantime. They say. Give blank face bro guys no need to keep the act up anymore. Silver hair. Open his helmet followed with others hey you got us a say. Greg haha, acting as police was really fun glad that I find you two first when you're with him with his wife. Albion hate to agree but Drake right. A say him and his wife, could it be Karasuma and Jalavik-san? Bali yep, well me and Albion was out of the town we meet both of them while they're taking a day off from work then Drake came telling us about the plan and he agreed to help us after accidentally hurt it. Asia um who are the people that Bali San mentioned with others nodding curious. Is say oh he and Jalavik San was our senior during me and Bali time at university, funny though that Jalavik San first name was Arena too. Bali he, glad that they finally get together. Drake for a normal human, he's already reached peak human strength. Albion yeah Drake right, he's got my respect even if he's just a normal human without sacred gear and supernatural abilities. Skeeth in case you guys curious make a picture appear on the screen. Skeeth. And here's their wedding picture. Asko oh I remember who is he now no wonder that name sounds familiar last I remember he was the Ministry of Defense despite his young age. Asia wa, Jalavik San is so pretty in dress. Gabriel. Their match make in heaven, I pray for their eternal happiness. Issei. Sighing and turned to Drag your right Drag, she's a bitch. But everyone that doesn't know what Issei means stumbled hearing the curse. Drag told you already she got the bitchy smell going out from her, that's why I'm going out meeting them first, I can't stand the smell. Albion. Face get little green after remembering the smell ugh don't remind me glad I'm not in the house with Bali in the first place. Bali such a powerful technique, shame we only managed to learn how to smell the three types of smell but not how to filter the smell. With Asia tilt head not understand it, well Ravel, Rainer, Kalwerner and middle breath sigh of relief after understand what drag, Albion and Bali and thankful that they don't emit bitchy smell that they mentioned. Don't seek. Get star eyed after hearing about the technique and plan to ask drag, Albion and Bali to learn it. They say. Sweat drops well I don't whether to be thankful or regret for not learning the technique now then how to deal with this thing. With everyone turn looking at Excalibur destruction lying on the floor pondering on how to deal with it. Screen close. Skeeth. Turn to Xcast well you all probably has some questions but surely more interested on the technique that other Drag Albion and Bali learned, considering that everyone already got brief rundown of the technique. With literally every guy suddenly rushing in front of Skeeth asking questions after questions like hungry reporters. They say what kind of technique is that? Bali was it true it can help men detect a bitch? Serzich was it only learnable by men only? Auden. Where I can learn it. Michael can us angels learn it too? As is all how many types of smell is out there? Greg do you know anyone that can teach it? Albion can a soul learn it too? Great Red can every male despite of their race can learn it? Skeeth. 
snap fingers making a tape cover every guy's mouth for everyone question. Yes every male can learn it even if they're dead or not, there's countless type of smell I know where to learn, and who teach it it's called the radar sure, it's plain name but the creator decided it that was the best thinking, considering that I'm the one that created, I'm not gonna tell them. Ben Alana um, Skeeth I know what you want to ask, sadly only male can learn it, there's not a version out there for female to learn, but every woman let out disappointed sigh from the news. Skeeth. Notice that some people start yawning already seeing like everyone tired already take a rest for now see you later got matters to attend open door and leaves. By Liss A start heading to his room yawning but stopped after notice that Zenovia and Arena was holding his sleeve with everyone else looking at their. Zenovia. Is I. Got a question. Arena same with me. Is say uh. Sure, what was it? Arena was I'm acting airheaded back then. Zenovia was I'm too bitchy before when we first met. Is say. Pondering hard and in the end decided to say it while sighing I hate to say it, but yes, it's right, pardon me leave to his room, but both of them frozen in shock after hearing it from Issei. Griselda. Shaking head thinking as much it pains me seeing them sad but they need to hear the harsh truth to grow up. Ep 15. Uncovering Excalibur hidden truth trashing stray exorcist. Also when cast seeing scene where there will be nudes the person whose body that was exposed would be covered in cloud at their private parts in respect of the character privacy. Also disclaimer to every character and pictures I use for this fanfic except idea I use to create for this story and my avatar Ock. Skeeth. Suddenly appeared before his house and get inside and noticed that everyone else was in the kitchen eating breakfast and grab a say shoulder from behind yo got some more for me. A say. Jump from his seat from sudden jump scare holy shit that scared me rubbing his chest to calm his beating heart but everyone else trying to recover from the sudden jump scare. Skeeth. Rub back of his head chuckling sheepishly on my bad. Sometimes I forgot that I got no presence for others to notice. I'll try to be subtle next time. Sorry for scaring you as remembering the time accidentally walking to other people. Scaring them to death. Bali man, we don't notice you at all. Honestly I pity whoever that pissed you off suddenly getting chills together with everyone else when thought about it. How cow. I'm glad that me and my team doesn't met him earlier during our foolish days with his team nodding in agreement. Skeeth well, let's go eat first, then watch next viewing it will show some surprising hidden information to all of you proceeds to eat. Well everyone else tilt head puzzled hearing that while pondering what Skeeth mean. After everyone finished eating and taking a seat on the living room while Skeeth opened the next viewing. Skeeth. Turn to cast well, before I forgot I decided to add new feature for you guys. Sikvera what was it Skeeth san? Skeeth. I'm adding feature where you guys can feel the energy emitted by people there to be frank, it's like you're there, but at the same time not. Roygun. That's quite an interesting feature. But cast turn to screen in anticipation. Screen open. Scene change hide you house living room. They say so what's this? Pick up covered Excalibur destruction and unwrap the cover and see what inside. But most cast shocked seeing how other say casually grab Excalibur fragment. Michael. Wait. How did say don't know pick up the Excalibur fragment? Gabriel. Could it be? Julio a natural born user. Skeeth just watch it would be revealed. Brainer the Excalibur destruction. Pal Werner why it was here. Donaseek. Wasn't it was supposed to be kept in Vatican for safekeeping. Middlet. Could it be that those two stole it? Zenobia hey. Arena we didn't stole it. Ravel no wonder that I get feeling of discomfort after seeing it for the first time. Rub shoulder in discomfort. Say volley, Excalibur destruction. Both tilt head confused not understand why the holy sword has name Excalibur in its name, but those that like both Issei and Vali while licking their lips thought that both of them looks cute when tilting their head. Issei. Looking around nervously why I feel danger. Vali. Also start looking around sweating feeling that someone was also looking at him what is this sense of danger. Donasiko you both didn't know. But Issei and Vali shake head and ask all four fallen angel about the story of the sword and why it's called Excalibur destruction. Asia so dot dot the Excalibur got broken during the war and the church reforged it back. With Ravel and four fallen nodding. Issei. Hold hand up wait, wait wait so. You're telling us both that some time ago during the great war that. Bali the Excalibur the sword that was called Sword of Promised Victory broke into seven pieces and later reforged back through alchemy by the church. Bali him. Kinda weird that both of us there don't know about it, Azazel. Possibly that because they didn't interact much with the supernatural that they don't know about it, Issei. Agreed that sounds plausible nodding, but others nodding confirming both Issei and Bali doubts, Issei. Rub forehead from incoming headache okay pardon me for the language but dot dot I call bullshit, Bali. Nodding same I agree with Issei, it's bullshit how it can suddenly broke just like that, wasn't it supposed to sent back to Lady of the Lake by late Bedivere, Issei. Suppose that it was truly broke how about Avalon the sheath of Excalibur. Ravel and Fourfall in Avalon. But then tired Xcast was puzzled, thinking that Excalibur have its own sheath they don't know about, and turned to Skeeth to ask questions. Skeeth. 
Shake head just watch. But both Issei and Bali a little shocked that they don't know about the sheath. Issei wait a minute turn to Drag and Albion Drag. Albion both of you was involved with Arthurian legend. Before right was the Excalibur truly broke back then. Issei wait what? Was it true Drag? Turn to his left hand asking Drag. Drag of course both me and Albion is involved with Arthurian legend you can even see me on Wales state flag. But both Drag and Albion thinking hard. Trying to remember and widen eyes in realization. Drag wait of course it wasn't broken. Albion. Bedivere already gave it back to Lady of the Lake. Ravel and Four Fallen. Wait what? Xcast Wat. Arthur. Getting up from his seat in shock H. How? Morgan if the Excalibur wasn't truly broken and was in Lady of the Lake hands all this time. Turning to look at Excalibur that Zenobia brought out in her hand. Michael then what about the Excalibur that we have all these years? Gabriel does. Father ever know about this? Skeeth nope he doesn't. But the heaven and church people were absolutely shocked that even the god of bible don't know that the Excalibur is actually not broken at all. They say. Dreg was it true? With Bali asking the same thing to Albion. Dreg. Honestly I don't remember at all if it's true. Albion. Sighing been sealed too long making us forget many things. Surzich then dot dot who was it that managed to fool the entire supernatural world? Azazel. Speechless I admit even I'm shocked the one that fool us, got us good. Odd and so. This is what Skeeth Dono mean about the hidden information. Rainer W. Wait was it true? With both Drag and Albion nodding. Middled. Fall to her seat still shocked then. Why don't anyone know about this? Drag. Honestly if anyone don't brought out about this topic even both of us won't ever thought about it it happens long time ago been sealed for a long time in sacred gear, making us both nearly forgot it. Albion. Nodding yeah, both me and Drag was grateful to him for helping release us making us both remember forgotten memories if not even us, both would think that the Excalibur was broken too. Ravel then dot dot who was it that make a fake Excalibur fragment and said that the Excalibur is broken. But others pondering hard about Ravel questions and both Issei and Bali widen eyes in realization. Bali. Wait a minute. Issei. Could it be? Issei Vali Merlin. Greg. Pondering about it and say now that I thought about it, he's the most suspicious one, considering he's suddenly gone missing after the King Arthur death. Albion yeah the guy was the prime suspect, I'm not surprised if he make fake Excalibur, because he don't want the church to get their hands on Excalibur, considering that they always eyeing Excalibur back then. Greg. And Excalibur was made by the fairies, and if Excalibur is truly broken and was in the hand of Church Oberon and Titania would gone into rage, seeing their land prized masterpiece was broken and taken away by Church they would instantly wage war with the Church in heaven, because of it even joined the great war against them. Skeeth. Turn to readers and say some information for readers the fairy side in the universe cast in my house come from together with the universe they're watching didn't join the great war. But heaven and church side gone pale imagine the fairies would suddenly wage war with them, considering that their side already has lot of casualties already from the great war. Michael as much I don't want to admit it, other drag don't know and Albion don't know was right it was weird that the fairies didn't take any action against us, despite the news that the Excalibur got broken during King Arthur death. They say. Notice that Kiba is silent Kiba. Udo muttering while crying so. Me and others pain was just for a fake sword. I say. Give Kib a comforting bro hug come on man dot dot I might not know the pain you feel before but dot dot at least I could do is lend a shoulder as a friend dot dot just. Let it all out no need to keep it. Udo. Crying while I say patting his back slowly sniff sniff dot just why would we have done to deserve this sniff wea. Skeeth. Pausing the screen we'll take a moment to rest for everyone to gather their thoughts with everyone else nodding and go take a rest from sudden information. After several while with Udo finally calm down. I say dude you okay there? Looking at Kiba in concern. Udo. Taking deep breath honestly I'm not but I must press on what of past is in the past. Turn to Issei in gratitude thank you Issei. Issei. It's okay Kiba, you're my best bud give him thumb up. Bali well when hearing you both reasoning it sounds legit proceeds to take the Excalibur destruction from Issei hand inspecting at him. Another evidence is that for a sword that was supposed to be made by Excalibur fragments, honestly I'm kinda disappointed that its holy energy and presence it emits was kinda lackluster just a little stronger than normal holy sword out there. Issei. Nodding in agreement well, you're right, compared to the stories that Sensei used to tell us before about Excalibur used by the King Arthur he meet before in his journey before meeting us this so-called Excalibur destruction is just disappointing more like a broken stick what was the church thinking even if it is a fake one, reforging the sword used by figure of legends into looking like that it, tarnishing the regal and kingly image of Excalibur point to the Excalibur destruction in Bali hand. As is old damn that was sick burn if I ever heard one he just dissed the entire church just like that him wait a minute. Notice something wrong. Greg, hmm? What's wrong, you five? Noticing that Ravel, Rainer, Calwerner, Middleton don't seek shakingly pointing their finger to Bali, especially at his hand holding Excalibur destruction. Albion. 
looking back and forth between those five and Bali something wrong you five looks like seeing ghost. Bali. Eyes widen in shock wait a minute, how did other me was fine despite holding a holy sword. I say. Eyes also widen in shock wait, you're right, it's true that other you looks fine. Arthur. Adjusting his glass bewildered even I'm confused. Michael how in father name, first other is say dono can pick it now volley dono, just how. Skeet he just watch it would be revealed take note of this volley it would be beneficial for you. But volley looking intently on the screen feeling giddy for unknown reasons. Ravel Virginia volley sama. Volley him. Something wrong ravel. Casually twirling the sword at high speed using his fingers. Al Werner actually dot dot we want to ask a question. Middled how did you are fine, despite holding a holy sword even if you're a half devil cough nervously, no offense I didn't mean it. But both Issei and Bali puzzled about the question and start chuckling after realized what they mean. Issei oh you guys curious how did Bali can pick a holy sword and use it despite his half human, half devil status. Turn to Bali do you mind telling them? Bali. Shrug sure I don't mind to be easier for you guys to understand, it's about my heritage, don't a seek. Heritage dot dot tilt head puzzle together with others. Bali. Start grinning head dot dot just think before Lucifer was a devil what is he again at first. But others thinking about it and widen eyes in shock. Rainer. Wait you mean that. I say. Sighing while rolling his eyes and proceeds to do barrier art lost limbo for the entire house. Edraig and Albion. Rolling their eyes and mutter show off. Ollie. Proceeds to do T-pose with head looking to the air, while letting out six pair of wings from his back with each two pair are devil top, fallen angel middle, and angel bottom wing. As all of you thought I volley Lucifer has awakened the angel and fallen angel side, that Lucifer has cast away when turning into a devil. Xcastee. Michael wh wa. H how. I know that considering that from what Skeet San told us before other volley dono could possibly have six pair of wings but, how did he have angel, fallen and devil wings? But Gabriel literally feigned from shocking news. Sirzich I never expected this development I still widen in shock after seeing other volley wings. Azizel how did he have all three types of wings? If it's two types I can understand, but how did he manage to balance the nature of three types of opposing energy? Ali. Still speechless after seeing his counterpart wings and start grinning in anticipation and turn to Skeeth giving him asking look. Skeeth. Let out a smirk you could say that every single volley Lucifer in the multiverse can achieve this but would take a lot of hard work, dedication and most importantly be motivated the key is like the biblical god once said, humanity unlimited potential if you get what I mean. Volley so basically my human nature, balance out the three opposing forces. Skeeth. Nodding yup if not you would possibly die from the chaotic mess of energy if unlucky and need to reach six pair of wings first before achieving what other you in the screen has achieved and there's also benefit after achieving it the viewing will show it. Ali. Nodding and turn to Issei giving him challenging smirk he wait for me hi do, I'll catch up with you. Issei. Also give Bali challenging smirk he, I'll wait for it even I'm pumped for our match in the future. Both bump their fists together, but everyone else jaw drops after hearing that information. Rainer so dot dot you mean that you unlocked angel and fallen angel benefit besides devil benefit. Ali. Still grinning yep, besides I can also use angel and fallen angel light energy, casually make light condensed weapon of any types, while well thinking, considering that angel version has purifying properties, while well fallen angel version has corrosion properties, the hard work back then was worth it, Asia. Shyly hold her hand up um volley sand can you read bible too? Ali. Give cheerful grin sure no problem I can do that proceeds to recite several verse from Bible and praising God casually without flinching. But Ravel breathes sigh of relief of managing to cover her ears in advance. Middle to side from unlocking the state and gain the benefits. Alwerner you also don't have weakness of three races. Bali yup got all the benefits no drawbacks at all glad that sensei give me suggestions for achieving this back, then smile in nostalgia remembering the past. Don't a seek what I can say dot dot that state is bullshitly overpowered for us to comprehend. The say Vali ddraig and Albion mind in this world probably. Ravel did on Isama know about this. They say yeah him and Sarayard know too they promise us for secrecy. Rainer well they probably understand that the entire supernatural world would be in uproar if seeing what you have achieved. Shiva yeah, she's right people would be curious how he achieved that and want him on their side. Sirzich Shiva Sama isn't wrong if I'm in Bali place I would hide about it. Indra the young Sirzich is right. Ali. Turn to Razor and Sarayard thanks for keeping the secret from my other self. Razor sure no problem even Razor understand that there would be chaos if people know about it. Sarayard. Rubbing forehead from incoming headache not to mention that the entire devil elders would use you for political gain, making Vali shiver hearing about politics. I say. Release the barrier seeing Vali folding his wing and concealed back his exposed energy anyway. We've gotten out of topic, Drake, Albion, anything else you both can remember from the event of King Arthur death and Merlin missing case.
Brigham, from what I remember, supposedly King Arthur corpse gone missing during his funeral same with all corpse of knights of round table also missing after their death. Albion yeah, Merlin was kind of eccentric person it is said that he's can't sometimes gaze into future if I'm right he could possibly the one that stole their corpse so that the three faction won't try to get their hand on their bodies. Rainer well. Albion Sama isn't wrong though. Bali any thoughts where did they go? I say. Realizing something could it be Avalon? Bali what do you mean I say? Issei Sensei once said that Excalibur Sheath, Avalon was like a gateway to Paradise Land of the Fairies so Merlin was probably there with King Arthur body, together with his knights. Greg when you put it like that, it's quite possible. Albion. Considering that no one else ever managed to go the Land of Fairies at all he probably brought their bodies to be buried there. Issei. That sounds legit if he could gaze into the future he probably done that to avoid supernatural people misusing Knight of Round Table bodies. Arthur so that's why, seems like we finally know the truth, turn to Morgan, we can't let our family know about this. Morgan. Nodding in agreement yes brother. Michael no wonder there's a sudden uproar about King Arthur and Knight of Round Table corpse gone missing. Asia um drag san, albion san, could you tell us what kind of person Merlin is? With Ravel and four fallen angel per cup interested. Rainer. Actually. Even us are interested. Dot dot. Halwerner. Nod head yeah, we actually are curious too. Middleton. Considering that he's supposed to be one of the best magician ever exist in history. Bona seat but his tale are mostly shrouded in mystery even during our time as angels. Ravel what we know is that he's the court mage and advisor during King Arthur reign till his death. Bregham. I don't know much because I don't interact much with him but you could say he's a mean prankster and pray he won't set his sights on you sweat drops. Albion and his main victim usually was King Arthur followed by his knights. Greg ah that's right I remember that time when he turned King Arthur into a beautiful mute girl for a day just for laughs. With everyone else jaw drops hearing that. Albion that time was awkward though considering his knights don't know that the girl they tried to flirt was actually their king. Greg. Nodding remembering the past yep when they finally found out that was real awkward though, and they literally gone into manhunt searching for Merlin to beat him. Albion. Sweat drops who wouldn't, especially Mordred he literally has identity crisis, considering the girl he confessed in the middle of the street surrounded by people was actually his father. Greg yep not to mention that in King Arthur position would be more awkward he can't talk at all to tell his knights that the girl they're flirting was actually their king, but most cast laughing imagining the scene in their head. Azizel. Weezing holding his sides pfffttt ha <laughs> holy shit that must sucks, confessing to a girl only to find that she's your father fkhahahaha, <laughs> Surzich. Rolling on the ground laughing oh man, that must sucks hahahahaha, <laughs> Issei. Slamming his knees non-stop laughing oh man I pity them hahahahaha, <laughs> after everyone managed to calm down laughing and continue watching the viewing, but everyone else laughing or sweat drops hearing that, Issei. Sweat drops damn dot dot that must sucks for them. Ali. Well still chuckling well, pretty sure they would be suspicious to every girl they see thinking that they are actually guy in disguise. Rainer. Remembered something, wait how did a say cunt can hold a holy sword just fine just now? Halwerner. Widen eyes a bit you're right Ray how? But everyone else looking at a say waiting his explanation. A say. Shrugs well, actually there's a resistance but it was tame for me, though, besides, compared to the sword that sensei has when I accidentally use it, before that was nothing. Ollie. Rubbing forehead remember that incident ugh that really sucks how the heck you accidentally activate that form of that sword I'll never knows. Greg. Flinch a bit don't remind me all of us literally gone blind when that happens. Albion. Shivering who wouldn't, it's like we literally see light from million of suns right before our eyes. Flashback scene showing Drag, Albion together with younger Issei and Volley rolling on the ground in agony while holding their eyes in pain. Back to present, Issei. Throw hands in the air exasperated oh come on I'm sorry okay I admit that's my fault, at least we got back our sight sighing. But most cast flinch imagine what other essay volley drag and Albion said. Odd and ouch that must sucks. George even I can't imagine how hard it be when suddenly lost sight in an instant. But others in the house sweat drops watching them bicker. Don't a seek. Cough well. Speaking on the matter about Excalibur fragment. Brainer I wonder why those two suddenly bring it to this town, turn to Ravel any thoughts Ravel Chan. Ravel. I'm not really sure let me ask Sonasama first. Middled how about Gremory Eris? Ravel W well scratch cheek nervously, how should I put it, she's less dependable than Sonasama. But big imaginary arrow with word less dependable, suddenly appear piercing through Rhea's back, well Sona felt proud from the praise. Dean ouch that was harsh burn I'd say. After waiting for several while with Ravel finished asking Sona via magic circle about two exorcists that came to Kuo. Ravel. Coughing well Sona Sama said that the reason they came to Kuo was to investigate about three stolen Excalibur and if possible retrieve it back and the one that stole it was Kakabiel from Grigori. But this say Volley Drag and Albion blinking their eyes unable to believe what they just heard. Albion. Wait a minute. Greg. You're saying that the church. Ollie. Only sent two inexperienced exorcists. 
but both Irina and Zenobia got hit with countless inexperienced arrow, is say. Against leader class fallen angel. Feeling heady king coming to retrieve back stolen Excaliburs. Is say volley ddraig and Albion are, they retarded. Is say. Rubbing forehead from headache sorry to say this but the chance they'll ever succeed was close to zero at most 2% 5 if they are lucky. Aki ouch that low huh. Hercules. Sweat drops he really has low expectation huh dot dot even I feel a little bad for them but Irina and Zenobia feel depressed seeing that other SA has no faith for their abilities. Bali what were the church thinking? Sending just two of them against someone that has much experience from Great War why not ask muscle old man to handle it. Asko. Honestly I'm also bewildered when I heard about it. Julio. Shaking head exasperated honestly I'm stumped why the church don't ask me for help. Albion. It's like sending two toddler fighting against an adult. Greg. Shaking head in disappointment what to expect, considering that the church done many stupid things all these years. I say so what are the name of Excalibur that got stolen Ravel? Ravel um if I'm right, they are Excalibur Rapidly, Excalibur Transparency and Excalibur Nightmare. But I say deadpan hearing the three Excalibur names. I say. Seriously who the hell name it even a kindergartner can came up with better name. Greg. Not gonna lie even an idiot can guess what those sort abilities is just by hearing the name. Albion. Noticed Volley thinking of something something wrong Volley. Volley hum dot dot why those sounds familiar realize something if I'm right, wait up guys. I'll be back getting something goes to his room and came back bringing two broken swords, could this two Excalibur nightmare and transparency? Azizel. Spitting the drink he's drinking what the buck. He'll be oh how the heck Volley there have two of it. Albion hum. Wasn't that two sword you brought back use as back scratcher back then several days ago? Brago, oh, speaking of back scratcher, can you lend me one take Excalibur Nightmare and use it to scratch his back, making him give face of pure bliss ah that hit the spot. But others beside is say Vali Albion and Asia in the house speechless seeing that the Excalibur fragment got reduced into a mere back scratcher. Meanwhile most of Xcas jaw drops seeing how Vali have the Excalibur Nightmare and transparency with other drag, use it as back scratcher. Griselda th the s sword of the church dot dot got reduced to that faint from the shock. Sirzich. Well still speechless I don't know what to say. How cow. I still wide seeing Drake still using it scratching his back damn that's one of the most disrespect move I ever seen in my life. I say. Mouth still wide holy sheet that's brutal of you Drake. Drake. Thinking him I could use one as back scratcher. Great red. Gave boisterous laugh amused seeing what just happened gah ha 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 that was priceless. Albion what I'm confused is how Vali have those two sword in his possession. Vali. Honestly even, I'm dumbfounded. Well Yudo gave satisfied grin seeing how the fake sword that make him and other suffer before got the disrespect it deserves. I say. Give blank face after seeing what just happened I not gonna question why you decided to use it as back scratcher what I'm curious is how did you get it. Bali well about that. Flashback start. Scene change random alleyway in Kuo. Freed. Humming happily hum hum hum. Such a pity that I got called back boss sure can be bossy but at least I got to play with devil cum. I say Freed. Udo. Could it be dot dot this is after he escaped from me back then. Skeeth yup it is, just watch. Freed ha. Huh? What was that squinting his eyes looking into distant seeing back of a figure with a familiar armor. But most cast laughing after seeing Vali in that armor again, while Vali covering his face from the embarrassment. Vali Urgwai dot dot other me. Freed. Hugging himself in delight and brought out Excalibur Nightmare and Transparency UO new prey catching jump to disguised Vali, preparing to strike him down hello theory. Vali. Casually parrying Freed's sword strike without looking back making Freed jump back. Freed ooh ooh nice reflect there are you a stray devil scum let father Freed bring you to salvation amen with his vision getting clear, making him able to see who he tried to attack and start laughing his ass off after getting good look pfffttt gahahahaha what kind armor was that it looks stupid as hell hahahaha whoever designed it must be an idiot. But Freed stopped laughing after feeling massive amount of killing intent all over the area directed to him. But most cast sweating feeling high amount of killing intent that other volley currently releasing. Alder what I can say, he's absolutely bucked with everyone nodding in agreement. Bali you damn heretic pagan suddenly appear before Freed in mid slash. Freed eek hurriedly brought both Excalibur trying to block the slash, only to find out it's futile, with how the Nokia sword slashed through the both Excalibur, leaving only the handle. But most cast jaw drops seeing how the Nokia sword easily cut through the Excalibur easily. Azizel. Eyes wide holy shittt it just cut through the Excalibur fragment just like that. I say I thought it was just a joke sword made of phones. Ajuka what kind of material used to make those sword? With everyone else still trying to grasp how the heck a sword made of foam can easily destroy the Excalibur fragments. Skeeth. Let out a smirk thinking never underestimate Nokia phone hardness. Freed. Jump back evading second slash and new nightmare chan transparency chan how is this possible? Looking at approaching volley who are you you son of a bitch? 
but Vali stop in his track hearing Freed cursing his mother and releasing another wave of killing intent towards Freed. But Vali also releasing high amount of killing intent hearing that imbecile cursing his mother, while those that sit near him sit further than him from fright. Biter. He's not bucked, he's beyond bucked. Breed shit brought out all his flashbang using all of it and escape. Bali if you thought you can escape easily you pathetic mongrel, you're mistaken, having managed to pinpoint Freed presence leaving the area and brought both Nokia sword back and released two energy slash and Nokia phone form, heading at high speed towards Freed location. But Freed jumping across the rooftop escaping. Freed shit 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 who the hell was that lunatic? Boss would be pissed off with me losing both Excalibur Nightmare and Transparency feels sense of foreboding suddenly approaching. Scene showing the two slash heading to Freed ass in slow motion with him in mid-air looking back, unable to evade the impending doom. Freed knew. While most cast flinching covering their ass after seeing the gif feeling phantom pain. They say ouch dot dot as much I hate the guy. I can't help but pity him. Razor ya. Yeah. Razor also feel the same. Ollie. Let out content sigh ah good job other me. Back to Vali. Vali tch. What a waste of my time making me lose my mood the nerve of him to insult sensei gift and mother noticed blades and handle of both Excalibur nightmare and transparency and pick both of it neat just in case I need a back scratcher. I let him go this time de transform back to normal and heading back home. Flashback ends. Skeeth. I'll answer before you guys ask about it the armor other Vali using was actually birthday gift from their teacher, after hearing Vali as a kid, said that armor made a phone looks cool so, he decided to make a transformation device to transform into that armor, you guys just see so other Vali really cherished that armor and would use it from time to time. They say I see I would do the same as Vali over there if anyone insult person I respect I would beat them senseless nodding in agreement, they say. Let out a sigh sometimes I wonder who's the older one, anyway what are you guys opinion in this matter? Greg. Shrugs unless they decided to came after us, just let them be for now. I'll be insane with Drag no need to waste time with some small fry stray exorcist me and Drag. Gonna go change to normal clothes, first with both leave to their room first. Ollie. Hand the Excalibur destruction to say well. I'll go call Kurosuma and Jalavix and to tell them that there's no need to worry anymore goes to make a call and came back taking Excalibur nightmare and transparency oops nearly forgot this too need my back scratcher he. Don't seek. Seeing that there's nothing to do I think me, Calwerner and Middle gonna go to supermarket to buy groceries with the mention nodding. Brainer. I'm gonna help clean with the mess, there's a lot of footprints here sighing while go take cleaning equipment preparing to clean up the mess. Asia let me help too Rainer Nasama goes after her. Ravel. Get a call from Magic Circle I got a call from So Nasama, seems like she want to help me how to manage the territory and discuss about those two just now see you later Asay Sama leave via teleport. Asay. Thank you for helping Ravel Sona gave her thankful smile. Sona I it's my pleasure Asay K cough blushing Asay San. The guys now it's only matter of time for the ship to sail. Asay. Looking at Excalibur destruction in his hand and leave to his room well just in case I need a cloth standee. Briselda. Mutter hopelessly first back scratcher now a cloth standee. But Dulio patting her back chuckling in amusement. Scene change hill of flowers. Sounds of footsteps heading towards the lone tree where there is a tombstone below the tree surrounded by 12 other tombstones. Gabriel. Such a beautiful place. Michael. Could it be? Scene showing back of white haired man with with white robes talking to himself while touching the tombstone in the middle. White robed man. Sigh so can't believe it, time really flies fast how old friend. Seems like both Drag and Albion got released already from their sacred gear. Take a seat in front of tombstone he's facing still. I'm sorry for not letting you and your knights got buried on your homeland I worried if the other supernatural beings would misuse you and your knights bodies I hope you forgive me start looking to the sky with the screen showing his face. But the blurry silhouette appear and put it hand on unaware Merlin's shoulder. King Arthur. It's okay my friend we don't blame you. But Merlin feels relief a little for unknown reasons. Screen close. Michael so that was Merlin. Azazel. This the first time I ever see him he looks really tired huh. Sir Zichi must feel guilty forced to stole their bodies not letting them being buried in their homeland. Dot and I hope he can find it to forgive himself. Udo as much I want to hate him dot dot but I can't find it to hate him seeing how much he bearing this guilt all by himself these years. The same must be sucks. Seeing his comrades die with only himself left. Hiroka so that silhouette must be your ancestor Arthur Naya. Arthur I think it was. But most cast start getting stretched out preparing to get to their room to rest and noticed Skeeth was still there while checking a list on a file. Ross was um Skeeth said is something wrong? Skeeth. Getting up and making loud cough well I got an announcement for everyone. Isaka what is it? Skeeth you guys know that there's other being like me right? With everyone else nodding guess what, they managed to know that I'm hosting you guys, and some of them decided to send some of you gift with everyone else feels giddy of possibly receiving gift from people like Skeeth. Skeeth. 
There's actually five of them that is sent gifts for anyone that doesn't get anything, don't be disheartened, maybe you can get one in the future. First is YOGAP56747, he has several gifts for two people. First is Azizel. Azizel yes in the first one baby ye. Skeeth. Chuckle he know about your fascination with sacred gear so, he decided to gift you with original sacred gear made by him he called it Gunmaker it is capable of making any gun related weaponry if the user know the schematic of guns they want to make and the user doesn't need to worry of running out of ammo because it use elemental energy instead of normal bullet it has 7 primary elements fire water wind earth thunder holy and demonic eye also add small adjustment making it wasn't bounded by heaven sacred gear system and anyone wasn't able to stole the sacred gear from the user the user can decide to pass it down to anyone they wish by the way this sacred gear has fail safe system if the user become wicked or turn evil it will eject itself out searching for worthy user Surzich. Whistle damn, I'm honestly little jealous even, though the sacred gear might sound like mid to high tier level if a user can use it right this sacred gear can easily rival longinus level. Great red. He's right, considering there's many kind of gun have been developed over these years, and with how much knowledge Azazel accumulated over the years that sacred gear is perfect for him. Skeeth. Brought out ball of energy and shove it inside Azazel chest so how was it? Azazel. Literally shed tear of happiness I can feel it the possibilities with this sacred gear it is endless. Skeeth. And the next lucky person is Issei. Issei. Pump fist excited oh ye my turn. Skeeth. Actually he has two types of gift for you. Issei. Why denies he eh? Is that true Skeeth san? Skeeth yep. First one was four series of popular games, together with their expansion Sengoku Basara 1 to 4, Battle and Chronicle Heroes, and also with Yukimura Den, Samurai Warriors 1 to 4, together with Spirit of Sonata Dynasty Warriors 1 to 9 plus Strikifers, and Warrior Rachi 1 to 4, as a small courtesy of me. You can put it inside your sacred gear to play together with Drag and other past user if they wish to join. Also, you can play it on any console and handheld platform anytime, anywhere. They say. Eyes literally shining hearing the amount of games he would receive ooh, those games sounds awesome what was it about Skeeth San? Skeeth well it mostly hack and slash game but fun thing is to be easier to understand they mostly retelling of past where Sengoku Basara and Samurai Warriors are for Japan history, Dynasty Warriors was retelling of the Three Kingdom, well Warrior Arachi as small spoiler is, crossover between Samurai Warriors and Dynasty Warriors, how cow. Wait a minute if what you said is true Skeeth San dot dot was my ancestors also included too. Skeeth. Nodding yep he is. How cow. Rub back of head embarrassed hey hi dude do you mind if I join you play it. They say well sure the more the merrier. Skeeth just my suggestion play warrior Rachi last after you guys finish all other three series first with everyone else that interested hearing about the game nodding and understanding then for your next gift is brought out a gift box with open holes on the side to say open it. They say. Open the box and literally melt seeing three Shiba Inu puppies wagging their tails happily upon seeing him, but Mickey and Issei harem gushing seeing how cute the puppies are. Skeeth he knows that despite you having Ryu Demaru as your familiar, he send these their puppies to become your second familiar the dark purple, one name is Oda, orange colored one with yellow color on it legs and tail is Takeda the snow white is Uasugi, they are elemental dogs that can help you with your journey Issei Oda, using darkness Takeda using fire, while Uasugi using ice, and they actually can combine becoming a black colored Cerberus named Mew Yuzu, their will legs change color, if switched to each respective element fire, as orange ice is blue and darkness is black, they say. Please send Mr. Yogap56747 my thanks for sending me all this wonderful gift, hugging each puppies happily. Skeeth sure will then the second person how you doing depresso. He also sent one gift to you to Issei brought out sleeping golden retriever, giving it to Issei its name is Selwyn, Issei. Carefully take the sleeping puppy please tell Mr. Hoyadoin Depresso that I'm also thankful for all these gifts with Skeeth nodding. Meanwhile with other three puppies looking at sleeping Selwyn feeling need to protect their little brother. Skeeth then from SOURFACE3 he has gift for three people, first for Udo brought out a certain sword from his back, making everyone eyes widen, seeing the sword's size. Skeeth. This sword name is Yoru, one of the 12 supreme grade sword it was originated from the world where other Issei and Vali get their wanted poster. This sword is used by Dracula Mihik the strongest swordsman in the world, here is his picture show the picture on the screen, but most cast feels overwhelmed after seeing person showed on the picture. Tsaoji as much as I hate to admit it if I fraud against him despite my advantage as a devil I would lose sighing. Surzich. Looking at his knight bewildered are you sure Tsaoji? Tsaoji. Nodding confirming Surzich question. Suzaku. Skeeth San if I may ask how powerful is he? Skeeth he can casually cut off a big mountain even if he swing his sword lazily with most cast jaw drops hearing that. This sec holy crap that was badass. Razor even Razor can't do that easily. Eyes wide. Skeeth. Alright then here Udo hand Yoru to Udo shaking hands feeling overwhelmed with feats of the sword original user. Udo. 
put the sword on his back and making an oath I'm honored to be able using this sword, and I promise to become the strongest swordsman in the future no matter how long it takes showing resolute face with Tsubaki blushing red, seeing her crush serious face. Skeeth next is for you Issei. Issei and me. Skeeth. Brought out pair of red glove a ring with chains and pair of contacts. Azazel. Looking at the items Skeeth brought out interested him, those items, especially the glove and ring has something unusual about it. Skeeth. Let me introduce you X Gloves version Bongola Gear and Ring of the Sky version X and also X Contact they are used by Tsuneashi Saida, the 10th leader of most powerful mafia group Vongola here the picture by, the way the golden haired guy on the back is his ancestor and founder of Vongola, Jodo, but most cast looking back and forth between Issei and Tsuna, Tsuna both of them looks the same, Zeodicus they could pass as twin if we don't know about it, Arachiel how did they have a flame on their forehead, Roswis, those flame looks unusual, Ervil, Nodding yeah those flame look really fierce but gentle at the same time. Skeeth you are right it is called sky flame one of the seven dying will flame. The sky flame has two types soft and hard flame its special abilities is harmony were it able to petrify or turn anything it touched to ash and you need the sky flame to use the gift just now. They say but I don't have sky flame Skeeth said how I can use it. Skeeth. Don't worry I take it upon myself to customize the gift so you can convert your flame into sky flame do you mind brought out boosted gear say. Proceeds to combine the gift into boosted gear, but this say try using the X gloves BVG making sky flame appear over his hand and marveling the flames. Break that is quite powerful flame, never thought I would see flame that could rival my own flame now, I'm interested what else it can do. Skeeth now try put the flame on the ring with small iron cub popped out from the ring, making the females gushing upon seeing it. Skeeth let me introduce you, its name is Natsu the animal ring of Vongola ring ver X with Natsu goes to say shoulder sitting there nuzzling a cheek with say, making every females gushing at the interaction it can also use sky flame considering that it made up by sky flame then the ex contacted has information about sky flame and how to use it and it also crucial to use tsuna's signature moves x burner don't worry i'll teach you on how to use it later say the same man i can't wait to train how to use sky flame later feeling excited skeeth back to brachial question it is called hyper dying will flame mode i remove the internal limiter of the user as opposite of dying will mode where it removes the outside limiter when in hyper dying will mode the user can fight calmly no matter matter what the situation is but using either of both mode, making the user feel as if their body was breaking, yet that they were prepared to take on anything as well as to be unafraid of their body being destroyed, thinking not gonna tell if used dying will mode they would be stripped down to underwear, Azazel. Whistle and press damn those two modes really powerful, capable of removing someone limiter is really hard to do even for us supernatural beings. Skeeth then the next one is for Sererg. Sererg,u seems like it's my turn I can't wait what my gift is bump fist feeling anticipation what his gift is, this law. I'm sure it would be something wonderful son. Skeeth it is you could say it would be perfect with Sererg fighting style and it is related with Issei gift just now making people perk up wondering what gift it is. Regulus man now I can't wait I wonder what kind of flame master would have. Skeeth let me present you Bangle of the Sun ver X used by Tsuna Sun Guardian, Sasagawa Raihei, also take it upon myself, so that in order to use Sun Flame you need to channel your magic power to the Bangle to use the Sun Flame. Isaka Sun Guardian dot dot a Sun Flame. Skeeth. I'll tell you guys about the characteristics of Sun Flame. It has power to induce and improve the efficiency of any type of activity and can increase rate of blood flow and cell regeneration, making it optimal for support roles, such as healing and strengthening individuals. It can also stimulate muscles and joints, increasing the user's body functions drastically. The activation characteristic also makes it difficult to use Sun Flames in direct combat, as the user must spend his energy and flames for healing in addition to attacking. Also, overusing the activation characteristic can lead to cellular death. Sarah Ergu, this would be perfect for me now I can fight longer, as long as I wanted bump fist and excitement. Skeeth by the way here gave Sarah Erg books containing Raihei techniques, not to mention you also has companion like Tsuna and his name is Garyu. But Sarah Erg tried channel the sun flame to the bangle making Garyu Verax appear from it with Sarah Erg feel excited of having new sparring partner. Skeeth you guys probably curious about Primo and Decimo with their guardian right with everyone nodding interested and Skeeth show their picture on the screen. Serzich. It's carely coincidental how Tsuna san and his guardians look eerily similar to Jodo san and his guardians. Riaz, who is that toddler besides Tsuna san, did they also train them into life of Mafia too? Skeeth. Chuckle amusedly hearing that question, making most people feel uneasy. There's a saying goes never underestimate someone by their appearance. That toddler can kick most of you guys' ass easily, despite his nerf state, with everyone perplexed hearing that claim. Like, who are you serious, Skeeth san? Skeeth. Yep his name is Reborn the world's strongest hitman and also the one that trained Tsuna to the decimo he is today. Azizel what do you mean by nerf state? 
Skeethy actually under a curse that turn him into a toddler, and I'm too lazy to explain with everyone else sweat drops hearing the excuse by the way is say, Sarayarg, there's hidden technique for both of your gift, it's up to you both on how to achieve it, gave both of them books containing information on how to activate cambio form a form, Udo. Please send Mr. Sourface 3 My thanks for his gift. The say same with me. Sir aired me too. Skeeth I will by the way before I forgot both of your gift is bounded to you only, meaning if you die from old age or anything else, they'll also follow you guys to the next life next. The gift from the two others was for Issei. Issei. Wyden eyes feels overwhelmed hearing that there's other gift for him seriously me again. Skeeth. Chuckle seeing a say expression yes you're right, first from JVENOM10 his gift for you is the one and only super shotgun used by none other, the legendary Doom Slayer, but the devas feel shiver in their spine hearing Doom Slayer name, Shiva. Something wrong sirs itch I seen that every devil flinch upon hearing that name, Skeeth let me answer long story short Doom Slayer is the one that conquer hell many times single handedly in his universe, despite being human here is his picture making devil side sweating nervously hearing about it and glad Doom Slayer didn't exist in their universe, or even by just seeing the picture, I can feel overwhelming rage emanating from him, Skeeth the super shotgun also has hook for USA to get close to your enemy I've taken it upon myself to customize super shotgun, so it is unlimited enhanced shotgun bullets without needing to reload, and also able to use as medium to use dragon shot for extra damage, Saji dam that is dangerous combination shivering, imagining on the receiving end of shotgun spread dragon shot, Skeeth next is from ZAIDAS144 a spear that can return back to the user after being thrown, anyone, unless if they has resistance against it, upon impact in 2 meter radius, those hit by the spear would be shocked for around half a minute, brought out blue purplish spear, giving it to say, I see, Feels giddy received the shotgun and spearman, hunting strays would be easier with this, I'll promise to not misuse all these gifts, please send Mr. JVENOM10 and Mr. ZAIDAS144 my regards for these wonderful gift, with Skeeth giving a nod, Skeeth. Stretching a bit well that's all for now see you guys later I got somewhere to go leave via the door, Sirzich. Alright it's gaming time, Azizel. Come on say, let's go to the game room, Ali. I'll bring snacks and beverages go to the kitchen, Iku let me help you follow volley, Seraphil I would love to join playing those games too, Issei. Alright, let's go then, goes to the game room followed by others, let me know in the comments below if you guys want the next part. Also check out my other video that has been shown and left, thank you for watching, if you enjoyed this video please like and share this video.and have a fantastic day bye.